scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. The scriptures. Mm. May God grant us grace. There is what you can know that will make you a wonder. There is what you can know. Listen, all men are equal in Christ, but understanding has separated men into cadres, such that what is possible for one may not be possible for the other. This is the distinguishing feature. This is the mark of this ecclesia of God, the church. I'm going to come there, but I want us to understand that a mystery is anything that is kept secret or remains unexplained or unknown. Number two, a mystery is any truth that is unknowable except by divine revelation. A mystery is any truth that is unknown. That means it cannot be known with intellectualism. It cannot be found with just philosophies and people's ideologies. A mystery is a truth that is unknowable except by divine revelation. Eli who began to speak in Job 32 and verse 8, he said, but there is a spirit in man. When all the elders came and began to, to debate among themselves in an attempt to explain the reason for the predicament of Job. I hope you understand that the meeting between the sons of God and Lucifer coming in the midst of them was a privileged information that was given by the writer to the readers. Those who were existing in that day did not know that such a meeting had happened so they were judging on the strength of their knowledge the bible says at the predicament of job all of the great men that represented different spheres of influence they came together and they were so shocked at the predicament of job the bible says they were silent for seven days reasoning among themselves stretching their intellectualism from end to end in an attempt to find what cause out of the archives of the knowledge they had known that was responsible for wealth and poverty they kept stretching their minds to see and understand what would have been responsible for this man's predicament and then elihu the youngest of them kept quiet and allowed them to keep articulating themselves and elihu said i wanted to speak but i was afraid because i was young and i thought that you people are old and so you will speak there are certain things that wisdom and age cannot teach. He said, but there is a spirit in man. And the inspiration, the breathing of that spirit upon men can grant unto them understanding. Hallelujah. So there are certain things you can know without experience. It's the illumination of the spirit. And we call that mysteries. This is my definition of a mystery number three this is what i call a mystery a mystery a mystery is or mysteries are spiritual codes c-o-d-e-s mysteries are spiritual codes that activate the operation of the laws and systems of god this is my definition of a mystery that a mystery is a spiritual code that activates the operation 
And the systems of God and by extension activates the operations in the spirit realm. Mysteries are spiritual codes. Every king in ancient time, every kingdom, follow me please, in ancient time became great on the strength of the mysteries that the kings had. Are you following me now? So mysteries are spiritual codes. When understood, they grant access to operating and activating certain laws in the spirit. When I started studying on this series, I was shocked to find out how many mysteries there are in the kingdom. Say after me, this kingdom is a kingdom of mysteries. Hallelujah. A kingdom of mysteries. The realm of darkness, the kingdom of darkness, the satanic kingdom thrives and prevails on the strength of mysteries. Are you following me now? That's why when we find somebody, there's a terminology we use. We call them secret societies, not public societies. Is that true? Secret societies because you just see the manifestation of what they do. The, the dynamics of their operation is a mystery that is revealed only to a, 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 a what do I call it now? A brotherhood, a sect of certain people who have pledged their fraternity with that group. Or that cult and so you come and pledge your fraternity and to the extent to which the leaders are satisfied with your allegiance they open you up to certain mysteries and the mysteries determine your ranking are you getting my point now so that if you saw a man who was maybe a herbalist and all of that he's only a herbalist at that level on the strength of the mysteries that were revealed to him is that true when matters go bad he will go to in quote what he will call another higher person and the difference between two of them is the mystery that has been concealed in the nigerian army the ranking of the military is according to the secrets of the the mysteries the code of operation are you getting me that governs war and, and, and the art of military intelligence and all of that. So when they are about to promote another person, there is a special place where they train only people who attain certain ranks. And secrets are committed unto them. Are you getting me now? It is on the strength of this secret that they are given certain ranks. So that the limitation of the lower soldier does not affect the intelligence of the higher one. Everybody say mysteries. Your dominion in this kingdom lies on the strength of your understanding. Listen, I love Daniel. The Bible says in Babylon, they were selected. Is that true? A number of people were selected and Daniel was selected. They were selected to be taught mysteries. Mysteries as regards the Babylonian worship. Hallelujah. Daniel, Shadrach, Abednego, all of these boys... They were selected and they took them to a special school where they taught them the science of the Babylonians, where they taught them the oracles and the ordinances, the covenants that made Babylon strong. And the Bible says when they were tested, Daniel was found 10 times better. But that's not the point. Daniel had an extra advantage they did not know. So there was a time they saw a mystery. Look, Daniel bombarded Babylon with all kinds of mysteries. Hidden truths. The secret that can make animals not to touch a man. It was not known to anybody. Daniel entered the lion's den and reproduced Eden in that lion's den. Hallelujah. When Belshazzar, the son of Nebuchadnezzar, they went and they brought all of, they made a feast to the God of gold and of silver. And all of that, it was the custom of kings that when they spoiled any nation, they would hold a feast to display their royalty and their strength. And in doing that, they will bring all of the spoils that they had gotten and celebrate and thank the God that kept his covenant with them. Hallelujah.
And while they were taking up the cups that were made for the temple of the Lord, a handwriting, everybody say a mystery. A mystery was written. It was a language that did not belong to the earth realm. And all the sorcerers and the necromancers and the people who taught Daniel, they came with their advanced knowledge and they cracked all the codes and they could not find out. And they said, there is a man. Hmm. There is a man. To this man has been given the understanding. And Daniel looked and they wanted to bless Daniel with rewards. Daniel said, keep your reward. Let me unlock this thing to you. Mene, mene tekel ufesen. O king, you have been weighed in a balance and you have been found wanting. This day, your kingdom will be taken from you. Everybody say mysteries. Dominion on the strength of mysteries. There is something you will know that will open your eyes to the patterns that are happening in your family and it no longer becomes a surprise. When men are running, you are the champion that will step in and say, Satan, you can deceive others. I know you. You know I know you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Mysteries. Psalm 25 verse 14. Psalm 25 verse 14. Are you getting blessed tonight? Psalm 25 verse 14. Please open your heart. Not just to listen but to receive. I told you last week if you are not changed then we are wasting our time. Psalm 45 verse 14. The secret of the Lord. You can, you can just read it. It's projected. The secret of the Lord. Everybody. The secret of who? So the Lord has secrets. Is that true? The secrets of the Lord. Listen. Do you know? Let me give you a little background to shock you. I want to digress a bit. I will still talk about it. Do you know the name Satan and the name devil is not Lucifer's name? Are you aware that devil is a generic name? Satan means the accuser. Is that true? That's what it means. The Bible tells us in Revelation that old serpent, even Satan, the devil, the accuser. That's why the Bible said they shall cast out devils. S. In my name, they shall cast out devils. The one we call Satan, his original name as given by God is Lucifer. And you know the meaning of Lucifer? The light bearer, son of the morning. Are you seeing what made Satan very intelligent? Satan was the light bearer. He was the custodian of the revelations of the kingdom. The light bearer. So, the one third of the angels that were given to him. I hope you know the first person to be in Eden was Satan. Not Adam. Satan had known Eden. Oh yes. Together with the angels. The ones we call... Ah. Can we continue? Do you realize that angels, let me shock you, angels do not have wings. I hope you know. See, angels are like humans. They do not have wings. It is the cherubims and the seraphs that have wings. Is it not in your Bible? Did you ever, in fact, the Bible puts it this way, that when angels come, be careful. You can even confuse angels and people. He said, be good to others. For in this, some of you have entertained angels unaware. Are you getting my point now? Angels can eat human food. Abraham and his wife, when the angels came, did they not cook for them? Did they eat it? The Bible says that they ate the angels' food, manna from heaven. Is that true? I'm not teaching you heresy. All of this is in your Bible. Praise the Lord. In fact, let me show you something. The Bible says, when the angel appeared to Mary, Mary was not shocked at the angel. It was the salutation, the message that surprised her. Not the angel. She looked at him and said, Oh God, what kind of salutation is this? In other words, when the angel appeared to Zechariah, Zechariah, listen, Zechariah was not afraid in terms of the no when he doubted him he said I am Gabriel let me tell you something that will interest you 
I hope you know, I spoke a bit two weeks ago on forbidden knowledge. Remember our teaching on for, of forbidden knowledge? There are certain knowledge that God did not want this, his ecclesia to know. That was the knowledge Adam did not know. I hope you know Lucifer was created. Is that true? Lucifer was created. When Lucifer was created, his place of habitation was Eden. Follow me. Let me just clear this once and for all. The way some of you are looking at me, guy, I don't agree. Ezekiel 28. This is Bible studies. Ezekiel 28. Uh-uh. It was a prophetic word about the king of Tyre. That was Satan. As the earthly ruler. Satan was the earthly ruler before Adam. It was the judgment of Satan that led to the fall of Genesis 1 verse 2. And the earth was dark and void and formless. And the waters. You know why? Because I will show you that the earth was designed to be suspended on waters. The pillars of the earth passed down through the waters. God was speaking to Job. When Job summoned God, the Bible tells us, in Job 38, they began a conversation. And God said, hold on, Job. Where were you? Ah, okay, let's just finish this one. What was, I, what was I going to check? See, we are talking about something. I, I want to conserve time. You are the ones who are pushing me into this thing now. Moreover, the word of the Lord came to me saying, verse 11, Son of man, take up a lamentation about the king of Tyre. Satan was the real king of Tyre. And say unto him, Thus saith the Lord God, Thou sealest up the sum, full of wisdom and perfect in beauty. Verse 13, if you are a Christian, read. One, two, read. Thou hast been where? Whose garden? Thou has been there. Thou has been there. He said, every precious stone, business people, precious stone, Satan knows where gold is. He knows where silver is. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Oh yes, he knows. That's why he can enrich any man that fraternizes. Let me tell you something. Satan and demons have the advantage of experience. They have been here for a long time. Revelation calls him that old serpent. Thy covering, the sardius, topaz, and the diamond, the beryl, the onyx, the jasper, and so on and so forth, and gold. He said the workmanship, all right, of thy tablets and of thy parts was prepared in thee in the day that you were there was a day he was created he was not created as satan he was created as <laughs> that means there was a story before genesis chapter one it was that story that was enshrined in the tree of the knowledge of good and evil I told you in Eden you don't eat to feel hunger you eat to get understanding and impartation are you getting me now the judgment of Lucifer after his rebellion was what led to Genesis 1 verse 2 and then what you see as Genesis 1 verse 3 was the recreation and Elohim said light return as you were and there was light and then there was a creation again listen i will show you that the creation in genesis 1 there was another creation before then do you want me to show you follow me job 38 you will see that there was another that was the cre in fact it was more detailed than genesis 1 it was that creation that describes how the earth was made and you will see how flawed science is follow me We have come to the end of ourselves. Take over, Jehovah. We have touched the end of our. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. We have come to the end of our. 
Are you there? Let's hurry up. We really have to save time. Job 38. The Lord is speaking to Job now in the height of his predicament. Are you there? Then the Lord answered Job, I'm going to be very fast, out of the whirlwind and said, Who is this that darkened counsel by words without knowledge? Guard up your loins. He was challenging Job. Please help me with a handkerchief. Guard up now thy loins like a man, for I will demand of thee and thou answer me. Where was thou? Listen. This is God challenging Job. Question one. Where was thou? Ah, if we are not following, let's hurry up. We have to save time. Verse 4. Where was thou when I laid what? So the earth that science tells us is revolving in the air. God says, far, far, far. The earth has foundations. There was a time when I designed the foundations of the earth. And before that, I'm going to show you that the concept of the Son of God is not a New Testament concept. Thank you. Are you there? Verse 5. Or declare, if thou hast understanding. Verse 5. Who had laid the measures of it? This was specific architecture happening when the earth was being designed. Are you getting me now? Before the earth, I hope you know the earth was designed before man as we know, Adam was there. And before Adam was there, there were already other people. You will see them now. Are you ready? Verse 6. Whereupon are his foundations fastened? Or who had laid his cornerstones? Seven, please, if you are a Christian. One, two, go. When the morning stars sang, thanksgiving, that the, when you lay foundation, don't you do thanksgiving? That was what the, the morning stars sang together and the sons of God shouted for joy. It's in your Bible that there was a time when the foundations of the earth were laid. No man was there. No devil of darkness. All the men, the kings of the earth. Are you now seeing the arrogance of Psalm 24? Many kings were standing to say, we know so much about the earth. And God said, come on now. Job, tell me, where were you? This is God challenging the man he created. There are some revelations that when you have, you will worship God in spirit and in truth. You see how much is an insult to now believe that the opposite of God is Lucifer. God was God. One day he thought of creating a light bearer called Lucifer. See, these are the secrets that when you know to cast out devils become easy. Because you know that you are not confronting an enemy of God like, like another strength. Uh -uh. When you see spirits manifesting, you tell them, forget this. I have knowledge already. I've eaten of the tree of life. There is something that has given me knowledge. Listen. Some of this knowledge were part of the forbidden knowledge that the fallen angels began to tell the daughters of men and it tripped them and they started following the angels and they had intercourse and gave birth to giants. You think the daughters would just... If the angels were strange, wouldn't the daughters of men run away? Look, if there is an angel with one eye here and two wings and he says, sweetheart, I just decided for me. Will you come to him? Don't you know that angels are more handsome than men? There are no ugly angels. See, angels were not, they were not born. They were created a symbol of God's own artistry. Are you getting me? Listen, if you see Adam in heaven today, you will know the difference between Adam and every man who was born. Adam was not born. God molded him. No woman's womb caused imperfection in him. I have come to the end of my life. Take over. Now look up. This is another where I'm showing you the creation that happened before Genesis 1. Or who shut up the sea with doors? So God is saying the sea that we are seeing, 
there are doors in the spirit that shut it and create a boundary that means every time you see flooding is an anomaly a beast from hell is unlocking a door by operating certain principles and in the days to come the sons of light will have spiritual intelligence enough to challenge spirits across territories it was on the strength of this kind of knowledge that joshua looked at the sun he said i know your geography stand still and the son said yes sir i see your intelligence listen except you don't believe the prophecy that our generation is going to be great if you think it is a joke that the bible says it shall come to pass on that day that the mountain of the lord's house shall be exalted they will do certain things that will scare men and all nations will run to it We may not look like it but we are coming there is something god is doing in our lives this is why it is important to subscribe to the dealings of the spirit are you seeing why some people can become untouchable it's not that see there is the knowledge that you have there will no longer be fear what will make you afraid you have an ancient knowledge that that predates genesis 1 and on the strength of that before that time the holy ghost was still operating we're talking about mysteries let's just read to verse 14 when i made the cloud its garment and thick darkness a swaddling band for it and broke up for it my decreed place and set bars and doors look at the command god gave the seas verse 11 and said thus far shall thou come but no further and here shall thou proud waves be stayed are you getting me now the psalmist the man you call david these were some of the secrets that david had and david was a warrior he was see these people that were called sons of God were sons of God on the strength of the mysteries that they knew I told you the concept of son of God did not start in the New Testament sons of God men who had power and authority as if they were not human beings they walked among us but they were absolutely unlimited. Abraham, David, when, when Jezebel was threatening people, one man just showed up called Elijah the Tishbite. No other information. Said, who is this woman giving people headache? Elijah the Tishbite. Taking fresh air on a mountain with proper understanding of spiritual laws and a band comes with all their ammunition elijah says look at these helpless people you let me tell you the knowledge of the mysteries of god can make you a wonder it was on the strength of this elijah taught elisha these things so elisha was sitting down and the and remember was it the assyrians now or the philistines one of all those people they came and the servant was just he said come keep quiet you are only afraid oh lord I know that this man may not have that knowledge but can you open his eyes when he opened his eyes that man saw see see what elisha did for them he made them blind and they gave them food to eat they led them somewhere men who bastardized physical laws on the strength of what they knew samson was a man who had that strange understanding and showed us that a man can tap might from a realm beyond his normal body and he used the jawbone of an ass and destroyed people with it couldn't ten people rush him and then another person quack him then somebody put a spear quickly how did he kill them it was the same formula that david knew and he taught the mighty men in the cave of adulam and they came up with that formula one man killed 800 people that a sword that means he was not holding that sword physically no matter how you fight a sword cannot cleave to your hand what spiritual law did he use to hold the sword
You have taken all the glory. You have taken all the praise. You have taken all dominion. You have taken all the praise. You have made them yours. See, this is what eating of the tree of life does for you. It reveals more of God. Are you seeing why the Bible says the testimony of Jesus is the true spirit, the character, the operation of prophecy. Right now, if we start worshiping on the strength of this knowledge, many of you have seen the might of God and you see how much he can change your situation and you will laugh at certain things without being motivated. You know that your God is able. Then some songs begin to make meaning. This is what Jesus taught the disciples. And after a while, they didn't even know whether they had faith or not. He said, you guys have been with me. You go and try what I've taught you. And this guy stepped into town and did mighty things. No cathedral, no ushers, no publicity. They saw devils crying up and down. They said, this is what Jesus told us. While they were discussing, another devil was shouting. And the Bible says they returned rejoicing. They said, ah, even the demons were subject to us. They were not born again, as we know. Because Jesus had not died. But a revelation empowered them. It is that revelation that can make a handkerchief. A man can hold a handkerchief and fall. Does a handkerchief have faith? Can a handkerchief speak? Can it prophesy? Can it talk it? The apostolic work that God is doing in the church universal is going to scare the kingdom of darkness. Are you seeing why they are scared about your life? Because they do not yet know what you will become. But on the strength of the training you are going through, the devil is getting scared that's why you will get persecution left right and center the devil will say stop him stop him in the days that come the least among us will be as great as David it's not an issue of emoji and one special man of God carrying an anointing and then a bunch of helpless people let me tell you as we explore the things in the kingdom you will find out the laws that can activate the gifts of the, of the spirit in a man are you getting me if a herbalist can bend somebody down and wash his eyes and he will suddenly start seeing what revelation did elisha know that he told naaman go to a river bath there and be clean there was a time that a man was sick very sick and Elisha just took some leaves and dropped it on his leg. Hiya. What did these people know? Are you seeing why the Bible says the earth was not worthy of them? He said this earth. No, this earth was not worthy of them. Philip was walking and suddenly this man left. I pray that God will grant us grace. So that I will have the opportunity to teach on prophecy or the prophetic. And then I will show you certain things by the grace of God according to the limit of grace that has been given to me on how the prophetic work. Do you know why it's possible to see a thing before it starts? An adumbration of the prophetic is what is shown in our geography. We call it time zones. Everybody say time zone. How many of you know that some people have already seen tomorrow? Is that true? Now that is the, the spirit and the ability of prophecy. There are some people now that are already in tomorrow. Are you following me now? They can tell you how tomorrow looks like, but you are catching up. Are you getting me? <sighs> what technology the scientists use to rewind and fast forward? Who gave them that concept? That you can rewind a video. Huh? To go back so that you watch something you like and you can fast forward it to jump something you don't like who taught them that principle look let me tell you don't fool yourself science does not rule the world the realm of the spirit rules the world
many scientists explored science with a level of passion that broke the boundaries of science and they entered into some realms please let's go back to what we are talking about for heaven's sake mysteries spiritual codes dominion in the kingdom only becomes a reality in a man's life to a degree that he understands and applies the mysteries of the kingdom please i want to teach you something listen by the way let me take a minute and talk about the miracle service look up the sincere truth is that there are many of you right here you are not you are not necessarily sick you are not necessarily oppressed the reason why you are coming here for many of you is to grow right now some keys have been given to you are you getting my point miracle service is like is is an evangelistic if it's the same you that comes next week alone are you getting me now there are no demons to cast out of you again what you need is transformation and that's what is happening so miracle service is a time where god gives you an opportunity to extend the hand of mercy to many who otherwise will be buffeted by satan are you getting my point so every last friday is an opportunity for you to draw somebody who is about to die of a terminal disease or a family that has suffered all kinds of things don't just come for miracle service alone there's there's hardly much teaching that we do during miracle service it's a time of ministration for many of you where you really get blessed is the time of prophecy and maybe impartation not necessarily healing and deliverance so why don't you become that agent of change and go and fish men and say look you've got to be blessed you don't know the lord you're not born again come it's an opportunity for you to start putting to work that which the lord is committing unto you hallelujah god rules the heavens and the entire kingdom through mysteries god has deep knowledge he has secrets the bible reveals certain mysteries i'm going to run through them get the tape we may not have time to read the verses one by one mark chapter 4 verse 1 talks to us about the mystery of the kingdom of god first corinthians 15 verse 51 talks to us about the mystery of resurrection he said behold i show you a mystery we shall not all die but we shall be changed so we see paul i show you a mystery a mystery a mystery ephesians 1 verse 9 paul speaking about the mystery of god's will that was committed unto him ephesians chapter 3 verse 3 colossians 1 25 to 27 talks about the mystery of christ so christ understanding christ cannot be through head knowledge it's a mystery it is through the illumination of the spirit that you will understand please are you following me ephesians 5 verse 32 talks about the mystery of marriage about a man and a woman hello you don't you don't understand marriage because you are old marriage is a mystery that takes the spirit paul began to talk to us and he said this is a mystery and in it i talk about christ and the church ephesians 6 verse 19 talks about the mystery of the gospel this gospel that we preach is a mystery second thessalonians 2 verse 7 talks about the mystery of iniquity and i'll touch a bit on this when i start talking on the ecclesia the mystery of iniquity a secret code that satan uses it is the mystery of iniquity that can bring what we call transgenerational causes It's the mystery of iniquity that can bring what is called spells and pronouncements upon people iniquity iniquity is not sin to sin means to err to default first timothy 3 verse 9 talks about the mystery of faith holding forth the mystery of faith with a pure conscience 
it talks about the mystery of faith this faith 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 that people talk about is a mystery that's why many people talk about faith and have no results because they teach faith from a scientific perspective but when you are given illumination this faith is a mystery first timothy 3 verse 16 talks about the mystery of godliness great is the mystery of godliness this was the mystery that john lake understood that god can come and become a man and something happened in john lake's life no sickness could touch that man he made spokane one of the healthiest city in the entire world during his time revelations 1 verse 20 talks about the mystery of the seven stars these were mysteries that were given john in the isle of patmos when he was caught up to the third heavens the mystery of the seven stars revelation 17 verse 5 calls babylon a mystery ah what is babylon babylon is the prophetic representation of the satanic kingdom and its operation adumbrated in a city called babylon the physical babylon was a reflection of the spiritual babylon just like the tabernacle was a reflection of the tabernacle in the heavens are you getting my point now so a physical manifestation of babylon and the bible says babylon itself that system is a mystery revelation 17 verse 17 and i will show you the mystery of the woman a woman is a mystery brothers stop blaming yourself a woman is a it takes revelation what did i say it takes do you know why a woman is a mystery because there are many aspects of a woman that it takes light for you to know let me give you two number one a woman is a gate in the spirit why is she a gate the only gate that can birth another life you think god just put womb in a woman why didn't they put womb in an animal just get pregnant and drop the seed in the animal no a woman is a gate in the spirit you will now see the reason why if you pray deliverance for 10 people about eight of them will be ladies there is a reason why satan loves ladies it's not for sex are you getting what i'm saying let the devil anoint one man and he can conquer 10 men let satan anoint one woman she doesn't need to conquer men she will go to the king that rules those people jezebel are you seeing that now a representation of the men Elijah conquered 100 people. Jezebel made the prophets of God to go and hide. One woman. You see why she's a mystery? When a woman says she's going to deal with you, start fasting. <laughs> Keep calling them weaker vessels. That if a woman tells you, you will see. Run fast. Run. We talk very little about wizards. But we talk so much about witches. first corinthians 4 verse 1 let's let's finish up the mysteries of god god himself is a mystery that's why all this scientology and these junks that attempt to explain god from a three-dimensional plane forget about all those things god himself is a mystery tongues are a mystery first corinthians 14 verse 2 we speak mysteries the bible says in first corinthians 2 about the hidden mysteries the wisdom of god shrouded in a mystery that the princes of this world did not know hallelujah pray in one minute and say lord open my eyes open my eyes dominion the true revelation of dominion pray say lord open my eyes there is something i need to know 
there is something I need to see. There is a realm of power I need to step in. Pray for the sake of your family. Pray for the sake of our nation. Pray for the sake of your children. Open me up to the hidden truths of the spirit. Cause my eyes to see. Let the veil be taken off my eyes, O oh God. That I will walk in power for real. Not as a man of God, but as an ambassador of the kingdom. Give me explanation to the happenings around my life. Let me understand the system that keep tossing my life to and fro. Show me the codes, oh God. Open my eyes and let me see. Uncover puzzles in my life. I will sing of the wonders of your word. I will sing out for joy. I will sing of the wonders of your word. And I will forever sing your praise. Your spirit opens to me the treasures of your word and I will forever sing your praise. Your spirit opens to me the treasures of your word I will forever sing your praise. I will sing I will sing of the wonders of your word. I will sing out for joy. I will sing of the wonders of your word. I will forever sing your praise. Listen. When you catch the revelations I'm sharing with you, you can look at a man and alter the course of the devil in his destiny with the power of the word. That word will live on the strength of the mysteries you have and no power in existence. You see what makes the spoken word powerful? It's not just about speaking. A lot of people keep speaking. He said, upon this rock, there must be a rock that you build on. That where you speak, it will come to pass. That rock is the comprehension of this hidden truth. That was why he told John, he said, seal it up. This is for an appointed time. Close it. He said, I wept for no man was worthy to open the book and unlock the seals. And the elder tapped me and said, do not weep. The book can be opened. when you catch these mysteries you can walk to a sick body and while you look at that person there are so many revelations that will stream from you that without touching the person he gets healed at once because your revelations exact a force in the spirit are you getting me now demons celebrate on the strength of believers they know we are ignorant of the mysteries of the kingdom so that even when we are praying we are praying out of ignorance and our prayers much effort but it generates very little results and we come back sweating and we believe that on the strength of our sweating it should happen Je listen jesus the custodian of the mysteries when he came the demon said ah you have come to destroy us you know every law it takes to check us out so we beg you when will it happen in your life when you will walk into your house and people will start calling you 
and say, please, I want to see you. And you say, you know I'm, I'm a witch, right? I'm going to pack out peacefully. I've been oppressing your people. And like Jesus, you will say, go. Out, never to return. What many prophets have come to swindle your parents. Of all their money, you step in as an ambassador. And every time they say something is writing, like a doctor, while they are talking, God is talking to you. And you look between the lines. And you tell them, I have come to stay evil. This is not about man of God. You look at a woman who is buried and you understand the mystery of creation. Not just the mystery of healing. Not just the mystery of creative miracles. The mystery of creation. And the woman says, I have a damaged fibroid. All of a sudden, many scriptures start firing in your head. How Elijah bathed and God healed. How many things happen and on the strength of that revelation you say it is possible madam you go back and come with your child i remember somebody who walked to adeboe they were i mean um, um abioye david abioye bishop david abioye and he was going to his office and the husband and wife they came and they said daddy we have been you know we've been trusting god no child and adeboe turned and looked at the man he said mr man you better get this woman pregnant before the next time. And that's how he left them. That was the end of it. There was a revelation. Male and female, he created them. A woman is not a man. Are you getting me now? Hmm. That's the revelation that can enter you. And you can get to the place of prayer. And say, Lord... If he created them male and female, where is the male version of my life? I'm tired of singleness. Male and female. That alone is a revelation. See, talk does not make the realm of the spirit scared. Talk does not drive demons. There is a light. There is a light that you carry to the realm of the spirit. And it is that light that brings power. And through the greatness of that power, every enemy will soar. hallelujah ecclesia everybody right the ecclesia the church is one mystery this is really the topic for tonight the ecclesia e k k l e s i a e double k l e s i a let us understand the ecclesia tonight very briefly before we pray Matthew 16 from verse 18 and 19 the ecclesia Matthew 16 can you project it for us please and amplify it now look up please let me give a little background can I have two or three people just any two or three people just stand here I want to show you something. Who is the last person? Anybody? Thank you. Look up. In ancient times, I told you that kings reigned through mysteries, right? There were certain people in every kingdom called knights. K-N-I-G-H-T. Everybody write that word down. Knights. Grant us revelation, oh God. These men called knights, look at me. They were a special selection. They were not military men alone. They were what we call the highest level of the intelligence of that kingdom. Are you getting me? They went through special training from martial art to astrology. Are you following me now? To science, to all biology, they were learned in every area. Now, these knights were the custodians of the secrets and the mysteries of that kingdom. Hallelujah. It was given to those knights. How many of you, I said it last week, how many of you have watched these kinds of films where they go and hide treasures under a rock somewhere in a kingdom? All right? And there may be a magic word. 
until you can pronounce the magic word then the door will open only the knights had knowledge of this hallelujah if the kingdom were about to be destroyed they know where to escape with the king and other people they had secret entrances in and out of the kingdom these knights were the ones that we call apostolos titus 1 verse 1 that's where we get the word apostle they were a special people set apart and sent as envoys of the king so if for instance they came to capture maybe the queen or any nobleman in the land even when they destroy all the military people are you getting me they can send just three knights three knights alone can go and subdue a whole kingdom and bring back the queen and then the king will crown them some of you read about obama doing it to the military right they crown them they increase them in ranking hallelujah this concept of knighthood and let me call it apostleship and 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 uh, ambassadorship this is the platform on which we'll be able to understand the ecclesia god bless you sirs. the word church please listen the word church is not a religious terminology at all are you getting me the word church has nothing to do with religion the word church is a governmental terminology ecclesia it's a governmental language it's a political language that word ecclesia what does it mean it means the called out ones the separated ones the trained ones the commissioned ones ecclesia it's not about a building at all it's not about a pastor and a congregation no ecclesia is a governmental language it's a language that is used to describe envoys men who were trained with military intelligence with all kinds of intelligence sophisticated men men of dexterity and intelligence they were sent by the king the first use of that word was by jesus himself in matthew 16 from verse 18 and 19 we need to understand what the church really is hallelujah then we can compare what we know today to be church as against the pattern of god because you see the structure of the kingdom is such that it must be done in the earth as it is in the heavens that means we must reproduce the pattern of things and one of the manifestations of the spirit of elijah is to set in order you bring order you restore the patterns of the tabernacle of david matthew 16 verse 18 let's hurry up wherever we can stop we must not necessarily finish matthew 16 verse 18 and i say unto thee jesus speaking thou art peter and upon this rock i will build my whose church i will build my he said and the of shall prevail the same word that was used for jacob and the and god uh, prevail prevail a contention so the first description of church gives it a military description are you following me now the moment church is mentioned the next word is gate of not nice chairs and pews the church the gates of hell the church the gates of hell what is the church the church is god's system the church is god's strategy for enforcing the kingdom the church is God's system for restoring back his original pattern. 
the church is God's system, is God's strategy, is the name of the mystery that God will use to restore all things. It's called the church, the ecclesia. Are you following me now? The church is a mystery. That's why many people go to Bible schools, theological schools, and we do not understand church. We study homiletics, we study everything we can study. But then we may never understand it except the Spirit of God opens our eyes. Listen, the concept of church had always been in God's mind right from the Garden of Eden. It didn't just come in the New Testament. Are you getting me? God's idea was for Adam and Eve to give birth to their first child in the garden. Are you getting me? So that the child can see how the garden looks like and the lifestyle, the kingdom lifestyle in the garden. And then they begin to reproduce that pattern across the entire earth. Satan knew it. That's why he attempted to thwart the plan. So the first child was born outside Eden. So he never had an understanding of how the life of Eden would be. Are, are you getting what I'm saying now? Very important. From that time, God desired a people whom he would call and bring to himself. He wanted a people that he would consecrate and give his values, his agenda, his vision. God's idea has never changed. God's agenda has not changed. Time has changed. Technology has changed. But God's vision, God's universal agenda is still in force. Exodus 19 from verse 1 and 6. When you read that, you begin to see the pattern. For time's sake, we may not read. God began to communicate his desire to separate a people that he would be their God and they would be his people. His people who were consecrated unto him. And then God found a man called Abraham. The first manifestation of the ecclesia after Noah. Hallelujah. You see the reason why God called Noah. Are you getting me? His three sons, their three wives, separated them and destroyed the earth. A corruption happened again. It had always been the contention between the agenda of God and the manifestation of the gates of hell. Now Abraham came, an idol worshiper, and he said, Abraham, come out of thy father's house. I call you out. Be a called out person be separate and if you do that then i will bless you then i will do all of this and that genesis 12 verse 1 and 2 and then god called the man called moses and it was moses that took the people from egypt out through the red sea and god gave them laws and ordinances now please listen I'm going to say some things that would disturb you this night. Laws and ordinances were what separated the people of God from other nations. Are you getting me? They had laws and they had ordinances. That was what created a distinguishing feature between the nation of Israel and other hedonistic nation. For instance, they had a law that they should not eat blood. So if other nations were eating blood, the nation of Israel did not eat blood. And so that marks them out to be a separate people. The laws and ordinances that were given through Moses to the nation of Israel marks them out as a separate people. Another thing is that God's people had a culture. Write it. Culture is the way of life of a people. Look, we must understand this, otherwise we'll, we'll keep playing games in the church. The kingdom has a culture. But what we teach in church now is coming to the kingdom with any culture you want. 
as long as you name the name of Christ that's trash from the pit of hell the kingdom has a culture its own culture hallelujah when you travel to the Yoruba land they have a culture and if you intend staying there long enough you had better start learning the culture when you go to Igbo land they have a culture a way of life when you come to the north they have a culture when you come to the middle belt or down northeast they have a culture every territory has a culture say after me the kingdom has a culture we cannot allow lawlessness to just happen in the body of Christ there are all kinds of lawless things that happen in the body of Christ and we believe there is nothing wrong with it when you understand kingdom you will know that the kingdom of God has a culture hallelujah from Matthew 16 verse 18 to 19 we see three things about the ecclesia number one that scripture reveals to us that God had an agenda that's number one he had an agenda that attempted to be thwarted by Satan from Adam but that his agenda is still in force and would be fulfilled that's the first thing that scripture reveals to us everybody say God has an agenda yes Satan has tried through the ages to thwart the agenda of God but I'm telling you that the gates of hell will not prevail the agenda of God will still come to pass what is the agenda of God a restoration of the values the ordinances of the kingdom hallelujah number two it reveals to us that the biggest opposition to this agenda are the gates of hell don't mistake it the biggest agenda to this advancement is not the terrorists it's not the godless people it's not the unbelievers but the gates of hell that means everything you see around that physically attempts to limit the advancement of the kingdom was birthed and sponsored by the gates of hell the greatest opposition to God's agenda is the gates of hell what what are the gates of hell I need to explain this the gates of hell describes Lucifer and all his strategies and the devices deployed to frustrate God's agenda the gates of hell attempts to describe Lucifer and all the strategies and devices that he deploys to frustrate God's agenda second Corinthians 2 from verse 10 to 11 tells us that we should not be ignorant of the devil's stratomai his devices his mysteries his agenda do not be ignorant satan has a pattern satan has a blueprint part of his blueprint is how he will destroy your life part of his blueprint is how he will ruin nigeria part of his blueprint is how he will take over the seven mountains and the spheres of influence part of his blueprint is how he will mislead and deceive pastors to derail from the patterns and the ordinances of God so that the enemy can come and sow tears among the wheat part of his ordinances and his strategy is to defile the sacrament of marriage he has a strategy and if the church is ignorant we are in trouble Number three, it reveals to us that the system and the agency through which this global invasion, this restoration of God's pattern would occur is called the church. The church is God's system, is the mystery he revealed to advance and fulfill his agenda. Brothers and sisters, the church is first and foremost not about a Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday gathering of people. 
No. The church is not just about buildings. The first revelation about the church is that the church is a strategy. The church is a system through which God's agenda will be restored back to the earth. The Ecclesia first talks of a species of people. Write it down. The Ecclesia talks of a species of people. Reformers, revivalists, and ambassadors. So the first revelation of Ecclesia is that it talks of a special breed of people. A species of people. A kind of people called out, set apart. A breed of reformers revivalists ambassadors not pastors not just prophets not just apostles ambassadors everybody say ambassadors that's the word we must focus on we are focusing too much on pastor and apostle and prophet no the word is ambassador the envoys that will carry this ideology to the systems then number two it talks of the institution that trains builds and equips these ambassadors the ecclesia of god is also the institution that he put in place just like a terrorist camp just like a, a platform that was built just like a diplomatic training center are you getting my point now to train, to build, and to equip these ambassadors and these envoys. To train men and women that will make a difference by becoming the difference. Not just make a difference by talking about it. Not just make a difference by designing posters and wearing shirts. Jesus is Lord. What good is wearing a shirt, Jesus is Lord, when your life is not a living epistle? And there are ministries that put all kinds of pressure on people. You must buy this and buy that to show you an ambassador. I'm not against that, but I'm telling you the highest symbol of an ambassador is not his attire, is that you become a written epistle. I can carry a shirt written jesus freak and still be a thief i can use that shirt to be sleeping with a lady and on it is written jesus freak i'm not against marketing the ideologies of the kingdom but i'm telling you beyond all these external religiosities is that we must become the written epistles say amen so the true concept of church starts with the hearts and the lives of men are you getting me not looking for land to build not looking for a cathedral to expand when we talk about the institutional aspect of the church we talk about that but the average pastor when he wants a church the first thing he's thinking about is where can i get land let me build my church in four months and make a name very very wrong concept of the church hallelujah the final thing i'll talk about before we pray is the process of becoming the ecclesia never let anybody fool you that being born again makes you the church i'm going to show you right now if the church listen the bible says those he predestinated he called that's one level those he called he justified another level those he justified he glorified there are processes in the kingdom mm. what is the process of becoming the ecclesia that ambassador and then how is the church as an institution supposed to function according to god's new testament pattern not according to a denomination 
not according to a sect not according to african tradition according to the patterns and the ordinances of the kingdom when the church functions as it's supposed to function no power in existence will be able to stand against it because the bible says i will build my church and the bible says we all like living stones being built into a spiritual house so that church we are the blocks that god will use and we become a formidable defense and the bible says if we do it right the gates of hell shall not prevail you know why the church is being trampled i will show you the revelation the bible says if the salt has lost its savor it is good for nothing but it will be trampled by men not demons you see why men are trampling the church they act nigerian films and mock pastors they act all kinds of things and discredit people he said if the church loses its sever he gave us a sign he said when you see men trampling the church they are losing its sever number one the process of becoming the ecclesia number one is your entrance into the kingdom this is what we call new birth please write it let's hurry up with these steps and then we'll pray I want to close early today because of the bike issues entrance into the kingdom new birth romans 8 from verse 8 to 10 and verse 13 the bible gives us the condition for being saved it says let me just turn here quickly let's save time Romans 10 verse 9 if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and thou shalt believe in thy heart that God raised him from the dead thou shalt be saved for with the heart man believes unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation and then verse 13 says for whoever shall call upon the name of the lord shall be saved that's the first step brothers and sisters not the only step to becoming the ecclesia those set apart ones the ones that first peter chapter 2 talks about will go there before we round up number two is the putting off of the old man the second step to becoming the ecclesia the putting off of the old man another name for it is repentance through deliverance right i will explain it to you many people do not know what deliverance is and i know that there have been the concept of deliverance has been abused many people just think deliverance is about people rolling up and down and coughing out things and vomiting all kinds of things no that's not necessarily the entire scope of deliverance deliverance means to be separated from something are you getting my point you must put off the old man if you truly want to walk as the ecclesia please don't let anybody confuse you it is part of the necessary and sufficient condition to be the ecclesia the light of the world ephesians 4 verse 22 please help us media if we can rush it repentance deliverance these things must happen to you it is called the putting off of the old man by deliverance i don't mean hands are laid on you and then you roll and fall on the floor no i i told you what repentance was aaron can i use you again it was with you i used you last week watch this an ideology a culture a mindset all right is making aaron to move a, to take a particular course in life is that true when the word of god comes right the mystery of the gospel when well taught and understood should make the guy turn are you getting me this turning 
not the walking the turning is what we call repentance are you getting me the walking is not necessarily repentance i will tell you the name the turning away your willingness to turn from your traditional way of thinking from your denominational way of thinking from your cultural way of thinking by the power of god's word is called repentance and it is deliverance because there are forces strongholds that make men to act and behave that way and when that separation comes you are put off the old man the bible says that ye put off concerning the former conversation the old man which is corrupt according to what deceitful lust lust there does not just talk about immorality it means that there is a craving please are you getting my point now this is the foundation of what we know to be the holiness movement which is not wrong but i will show you the imbalance and the imperfection of the holiness movement if you put off a loan listen if you put off a loan it's still not enough how many of you know that there are many people in church who are not sleeping around they are not drinking but the lusts and the urge is practically killing them yes or no pastors reverends bishop so i don't i will not come and fornicate or do something with this lady because i am aware that god hates it is that true but in my mind there's all kinds of torture i don't want to steal I don't want to do malpractice just because there are people if that loss is still there you are not delivered are you seeing the limitation of the holiness movement so they teach ordinances don't do this don't do that which is good but if you do not put on that's the next thing put on there is an ideology there is a mindset that became a stronghold that drove you into that way of life if you just turn mechanically without being free from the mindset from that which causes you you will stand although you may not commit the act of sin that's what leads a lot of people into things like pornography and masturbation because we men of God are lords over people supervising who slept with who and who so because of that fear they say ah let no lady come to my house so they can lock the door and download pornography to the demon is still there if you put off you must put on that's when true liberty occurs the process of becoming the true ecclesia number three the putting on of the new man we call that renewal and transformation so new birth repentance and deliverance the next step is renewal and transformation paul was speaking to people who were already born again they were already born again a congregation of believers and he says do not conform to the thinking pattern of this age but be ye transformed can you see transformation and renewal used? Be it transformed by the renewing. So it is transformation that now pushes Aaron experientially. Are you getting me now? Out of this realm so that it no longer is not just that the Bible said it, but it has become his way of life. But a lot of people sing religiously. The things I used to do i do them no more but you are still thinking about it you are still imagining it to an extent that people have started preaching messages and said there's no man there's no man anywhere who does not at any time imagine himself sleeping with a woman forget it we're all human beings people have coined messages to explain their refusal to put on they have put off but they are being frustrated 
So you are seeing the church money. Something is pinching you. Can't I use this church money and build a bungalow? And you know that if you touch God's money, you know it will bring a curse on you. So the fear of that curse is keeping you. But you are dying slowly. Every time you see the finance department counting the money, you are almost dying. You are not yet free. You are saved, but you are not free. He said, where the spirit of the Lord is, there is not only salvation, there is liberty. Many people in the church are saved, but I'm telling you, they are not free. You know what I'm saying is painful, but it's true. But God wants you to be free. He wants you to be free. Hallelujah. Aaron, God bless you. And then, listen, point number two and three is what produces perfect holiness. Please write it down. Putting off a load is not enough to know that holiness is in nature. That the Holy Ghost, the spirit of holiness comes upon you. He comes upon you to open you up to the possibilities of walking experientially in holiness it is the grace for holiness he grants unto you that makes you to be able to walk please understand this i know that there's a general concept of holiness in the body of christ that holiness is not what you do holiness is just what you receive please be careful there is a very serious balance holiness is the work you you walk on to it on account of the grace that came by the spirit of holiness not mechanically not traditionally please get this there's a lot of perversion in the body of christ i'm aware that there are men of god who sleep around with their congregations and have secured them with revelations that once you are born again the bible says this and that and that we have been engraved in his palm the only thing that takes people to hell is this and that and that and so many people move i hope you know that one of the mysteries of iniquity is the mysteries of lawlessness please do not be deceived i want you to be a powerful church this is not the way our fathers walked and if we walk this way we are suffering right now because our parents in ministry they walk the path of true holiness but when they got prosperity and they arrived there they changed the message and they gave us the younger generation and we are we are suffering the fathers have eaten sour grapes and our generation now have become powerless because we are absorbing doctrines that may not be wrong but they are not balanced hallelujah the putting off of the old man through the spirit of God and the putting on of the new man renewed in righteousness is the complete concept of biblical holiness point number four the process of becoming the ecclesia number one entrance into the kingdom new birth two repentance through deliverance three renewal and transformation number four is equipping and training the saints to establish and advance the kingdom are you seeing the process now the fourth step is now the equipping and the training this is where you now talk about the institution church the assembly of believers this is the core function of the assembly of believers now listen this equipping and this training of these prospective ambassadors to advance the kingdom is what the bible calls discipleship write it down are you seeing that many things we have taught as discipleship is just familiarizing people with the ordinances of that denomination for the purpose of being baptized and receiving positions in the church he may not be wrong in himself in itself but it's not the perfect ordinance of god discipleship 
is not about just coming somewhere and sitting down and indoctrinating people with concepts and theological ideas. No, discipleship is the ministry of the fivefold to the body, equipping them. What is happening right now is what discipleship is. Are you getting my point now? Unfailing to you the patterns and the concepts, the ordinances and the mysteries of the kingdom. That means the real goal of the church is not to keep members there forever. In its ideal form, a growing church is not necessarily a church with the largest crowd. A growing church is the church that has been able to effectively disciple people and release them to begin to advance the kingdom. Are you seeing our concept right now? There's nothing wrong with crowd. Don't get me wrong. But I'm saying that there is a little twisting and it's getting into error. Men of God believe that you are a great man of God and the kingdom is being advanced. If there are people here and there is an overflow outside and there are other people, then we say the kingdom is advancing. It is advancing if the people are being taught with the intent that they will begin to manifest as ambassadors. That means a church, if you are here in Koinonia for one year, two years, and you cannot find your place in destiny and begin to take the influence of the kingdom, we have failed as leaders and we are cheating you. Are you getting my point? It doesn't matter if Koinonia starts growing. It doesn't matter if Joshua Selman is becoming a famous man. That's not God's parameter for measuring the success of the church. Please, are you understanding me? Because some of you are under a lot of ministries. And with time, God is calling you. Some of you are already in ministry. Right now, get the record straight. So that you don't get up in error. Under pressure. If you are truly advancing the kingdom, God will send people to you. The Bible says, and God increased to their number daily as those who should be saved. It's God that brings increase. Paul can plant, Apollo can water, but true increase comes from God. The institution of the local assembly, the institution of platforms like Koinonia and different churches scattered across the globe, if they function properly, should be a powerful force in training people. Question. As we attempt to round up, let me ask you a question. Why is it that there are millions of churches, maybe, or hundreds of thousands in Nigeria, but the transformation as far as taking the ideology of the kingdom is very little? Why is that so? Could it be that there is a violation of God's pattern of church? Are you getting my point now? In every city, there are ministries, ministries like Redeem, who have gotten unusual grace to push beyond boundaries, push beyond territories, even where a church cannot be planted. You find their churches there. The power of the Holy Spirit at work in them and many other ministries. But the question is, there is a difference between the growth of a ministry and the advancement of the agenda of the kingdom koinonia can open branches all over and everybody can rejoice and we will celebrate only if that ecclesia that institution is training and building people the job of the man of god is not just to sit down in front and have water and have ushers and have an office with AC wonderful let his life be comfortable for as long as that ecclesia remains a true apostolic and prophetic platform please hear me your fellowship is an ecclesia your home cell is an ecclesia it doesn't just mean a church with a name like living faith redeemed or, or all of the great ministries we have the bible says where two or three are gathered in my name i am there in their midst 
wherever there is a training an equipping a building of people where you are supplied the tools for advancing the kingdom what are the tools influence excellence the anointing prosperity character the message of the kingdom are you now seeing the context in which all these teachings come so if i teach you on prosperity if i just teach you so that you become a multi-millionaire and then sing a song and flaunt your cars and say god has been good to me as good as that is you are not an effective ambassador are you getting me now so i can be comfortable to teach prosperity on the strength of the fact that you are aware that i'm teaching it as a tool for kingdom advancement i can teach character knowing that you are aware that it is a tool for kingdom advancement are you getting my point now every other teaching is a means to an end equipping you to take over to bring the influence of the kingdom and then the final stage of becoming the ecclesia is what i call the execution write it the execution where you have now been equipped the equipping is ongoing but that you should be able to be equipped enough that you can start working while you are still learning i call it the execution what is the execution fulfilling the go ye command that means you have been equipped jesus walked with the people even when paul was coming to the end of his ministry paul kept saying that i may know him but it not it did not stop paul from planting churches and building things so that you are still learning is not an excuse if you are really growing a time should come you should join part of the go ye team to now start saying all right we have been equipped it's time to begin to go and the bible says go ye into where cosmos everybody write cosmos i've taught it conquering cosmos i won't go into there again what is the execution taking the message the influence please write i hope you're writing this same thing on facebook please and all the social media let them understand what i'm saying the execution means fulfilling the go ye command it means taking the message the influence and the power of the kingdom to all the mountains and the spheres of human existence obeying the go ye command that you have now been trained can i have four people all of you here just come from mama please come hallelujah now watch this step one they have come indicating their interest to serve god praise god just turn towards me guys step two is that they undergo a process of the putting off through the word of god everything happens by the word are you getting me now delivered from all their ideologies uh, witchcraft all every kind of thing step three they put on the new man by the power and the spirit of god and then the equipping continues and then a time comes god begins to send them you go into politics and governance you go into arts and entertainment you become a pastor go into the mountain of religion you let me have three more people one two three four there are seven mountains you go into the media mama you like money business go into business stand here how are you now three people you go into the education go and become a professor you ah this is the guy that would have gone into finance oh. go into the family life be a good husband teach people one two. are you seeing that now this is what we call goyi goyi is not just carry tract 
and talking and come and harass a brother with, with and say my brother time is up you are going to hell i'm not saying that is wrong but i'm saying if that is our concept of kingdom advancement we are joking a guy is quietly maybe trying to ask this lady out he has been maneuvering this thing for weeks and now is the moment to let it out and it may not be demonic maybe it's a christian brother you just come in you are talking for 20 minutes they don't know your name you just keep harassing the people and say do you know that hell is real blah 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 the way you are doing for the wages of sin is dead you never ask the person whether he's born again you never ask well, by god's grace i will teach us on evangelism how do you really evangelize the person does not know your name you just assume is a brother who wants to destroy that sister's life maybe it's even her pastor counseling her because the person may be wearing jeans and a t-shirt doesn't necessarily mean the person is a sinner now you waste time 30 minutes teaching and they keep quiet at the end of it they say brother we appreciate we are born again i say oh that's lovely you have you have wasted the time of the kingdom you would have politely introduced yourself and then you know that you are brethren in this work and then you can move on to make your job more effective but it's not your fault it's what you were taught and what you were told to do so you obey to the latter and that's why god is helping us please don't get me wrong tract evangelism and one-to-one -one evangelism are effective and they will remain effective forever are you getting my point now but that we need to balance it up the church is not about pastors all of you come come and stand here come and crowd me here and try to push me let me show you the nonsense that is going on in the body of christ because we've taught them if you want to advance the kingdom be a pastor are you seeing it now so aaron has been trained his potential is boiling he doesn't know what to do you've not taught him on purpose mama wants business or oh, you are making church treasurer now you didn't make are you getting my point now so there is a lot of fight on the pulpit and then aaron gets angry and aaron breaks out and goes to france to go and start his church not that's not wrong i'm not saying everybody leaving a church is necessarily of the devil there are people god really spoke to are you getting my point but there are many people on the pulpit that have no business with pulpit are you hearing what i'm saying i've told Pro aaron is an apostle i've told this guy you're a prophet i've said you're an evangelist i've said you're a, you're a prayer warrior i've said you are you are what you're a pastor i've said you're a bible study teacher a businessman you see it, it changes quickly he really likes business for whatever reason praise god this is what we have taught people so every young man in church envisages the ladies their passion is to see who is the pastor and when one brother who is not a pastor just comes and says sister good afternoon she says, mm -mm, don't even start i know where you are going don't waste your time i'm going to marry a pastor because what you have been told is that except you stand behind this pulpit you are not advancing the kingdom and the lady in her innocence said ah if that's the way to advance the kingdom let me be a help meet to whoever has shown seriousness to advance this kingdom so the other brothers are considered to be on serious people in the church no matter how effective they are and it puts pressure on them people start coming up with false visions people start creating their little bible studies because they want to respond to their concept of kingdom advancement but a true apostolic church builds people and lets them know that the businessman is as effective as the pastor are you getting my point now that the person who goes into fashion designing is also an apostle in his own respect so i salute him although he may be a member of my church but i never degrade him although i trained him i salute him and i tell him go with this fashion let ladies stop exposing their breasts left like and center because they think it's fashion get that junk out of the fashion world receive illumination from the spirit are you getting my point take the fashion mountain so you will receive the same impartation as if you are a pastor but is to send you to that mountain and you will go with confidence it as a fashion designer the prophetic is working in your life you are receiving blueprints of designs and the businessman is making money for you 
are you getting my point now the other person is marketing what you have said in the media when that happens the gates of hell shall not prevail are you getting me because in the government there is an ambassador on a reality tv show will not be showing people who can listen to the language of grass rather it's not that you must say jesus in your television program let me tell you something there is a light and a power there is an effulgence that your programs are directed after the order of the pattern of the kingdom it does not mean you come up and say look everybody you are an unbeliever but you teach about character when you start with family values that are consistent with the principles of the kingdom you now begin to enter cosmos the sons of the kingdom are not wise that's the reason why we are not moving forward so before your program you are praying in tongues for one hour and you talk to the prayer warrior and he's praying although you have a secular in quote a secular tv station maybe a new station but you have prayer warriors at the back just like all the rich men have the people that enchant for them so the prayer warriors are praying that's their ministry they are prayer warriors they are counselors and they are paid to do it hello did you hear what i'm saying i see a lot of religion paid to pray of course this man is married what do you want him to go and tell his wife after praying from morning till night for you to advance your kingdom you did business and they paid you you preached and they gave you honorarium i'm not saying go and start telling people you better drop money i've learned my lesson if you ever come to me for counseling without money uh -uh. please go back to your seat the ecclesia is the light of the world the ecclesia is the hope of our generation the ecclesia is this mystery man that god is raising are you getting me a man is not just a human being a man can be a system that was what the king saw in his dream he saw a man standing the head of gold the feet of clay that man was a description of many dispensations so this man called the church the body with christ being the head of this man called the ecclesia together they have become an unbeatable team this is what we call koinonia the spirit and the bride walking together the spirit and the bride walking in the business world the spirit and the bride walking in the educational realm the spirit and the bride walking in family the spirit and the bride walking in churches the spirit and the bride are you seeing that now so your christianity does not just become to build branches and churches but that you take over a mountain advancing the kingdom is the resultant effect of this order and if we do this very well we will be hastening the return of our king let our king be lifted up oh Sana. hallelujah aaron for instance please stand up aaron aaron is now heading the editing unit of what what newspaper daily trust he's now heading the the look at when did he start because of this kingdom mentality god said this guy will be an ambassador and within a short time god has taken him to joss to now head the editorial unit are you seeing now that's an ambassador right now he's listening to this so if somebody brings any junk in the paper he will throw it in the trash because he's the editor do you think god will lift him are you getting my point now my dear please come oh yeah now this is a career woman she likes book very well now god is taking her to great places because she loves education she has a dream of walking in one of the where did you even tell me one one just tell me one of it uh, 
that you know all this un and all of this place now that's not wrong do you think if they go and they're discussing how to kill and wipe africans is it no votes they count will she vote it are you getting me so she's doing her own evangelism among the kings there through word of knowledge when one king is sick and sickness whips the living daylight out of him she uses her influence to go to his house and say although i'm a un worker i lay hands on you in the name of jesus that's your own church that's your own pulpit if that king arises he's is now born again two votes are there a time will come that's what happened to daniel daniel was part of the parliament in babylon and he single-handedly made the king to confess that nobody should speak against the god of daniel so when they talk about passing gay rights you just say no way for this reason and that reason and because you have the spirit of wisdom god will give you the facts to support it beyond the realm of human beings bless you are you understanding what i'm saying then god will raise some dangerous apostolic businessmen not businessmen that will take the bull by the horn they will behead the bull at once you know what the bull is the bull is the symbol of commerce is a god when you see people saying bull the bull is a god go to the new york stock exchange right in front of it you see the drawing of a bull it's a god that's the god of commerce you don't need to take the bull by the horn behead it let the dragon die and you speak and say it's time to bring in massive kingdom wealth for the kingdom and whilst you bring it in in a month or in a year you are making 60 billion naira and you just calculate 5 billion koinonia 10 billion living faith this one that that's how you are this you are a real kingdom financier no coercing no lying you are doing it as a ministry meanwhile five million for your wife to go to hawaii come on now god punish the devil the bible says see the bible says if you walk on the altar live by the altar hallelujah and you are now thinking two billion naira for evangelism i'm sowing this into capro ministry and you check you see a ministry like god tv saying we need five million we need five million and you say come on lord we are bigger than this you tell your business partners our profit for this month is going to god tv and god gives you intelligence you have such a great returns and you communicate it everybody say kingdom advancement if they have not been teaching you this you have not been in church are you hearing me we will never in advance the kingdom when we are some bunch of whims and broke people waiting for somebody to give twenty thousand, and you sit down they say today we have declared that based on our august mood swing there will not be work in two weeks he's traveling to india to go and consult a god and then the helpless believers just sit down they say they are slashing your salary into half so you will now get ten thousand Will you ever think of kingdom advancement with 10,000? Say, I refuse to be poor. Say it. This is the balanced view of prosperity. Not just to buy jeeps. You will buy it. But how many can you enter at a time, brothers and sisters? You can't cross your leg on two jeeps and say, drive it like that. You have to see one at a time. We are going to rise up and pray. The Ecclesia. Say I am the Ecclesia. I represent the church. The agency. For transformation. For reformation. For renewal. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lord I thank you for the revelation of your word we are the ecclesia by the mysteries of the spirit until the kingdoms of this world become the kingdoms of our God they will bow one day Dagon will bow and the church will again rise 
as the city upon the hill for I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory that shall be revealed in us for the earnest expectation come on pray in tongues koinonia God is counting on you God is counting on you to take that mountain pay the price God is counting on you to take the mountain of education pray I put off the old man there's no time to walk in the flesh I put off the old man there's no time playing church games there's no time to walk in sin the spiritual urgency there is an urgency upon the ecclesia of God we are the envoys for transformation we are the envoys of power we will challenge systems we will challenge the giants hallelujah hallelujah two prayer points and we're out of here prayer point number one you're going to say lord i receive grace to stay and be trained and be equipped to be an effective ambassador lift your voice and pray it's not just about going if you are not equipped you will be frustrated it's not just about going if you are not equipped the giants will destroy you there are giants in this mountain there are giants in this mountain lord i know you are sending me I know you are sending me I know you are sending me Apostolos the envoys of power the envoys of grace we represent the embassy of heaven it has been given unto us to know the mysteries of the kingdom hallelujah hallelujah last prayer point now i like you to pray this one like your life depends on it you're going to say lord i'll combine two prayer points in one show me the mountains oh god that you have anointed me to take and grant me the grace to subdue those mountains lift your voice and pray show me oh god show me the mountain oh God I have been anointed like Joshua and Caleb give me the mountain show me show me the mountain I'm tired of walking around purposelessly I am tired of walking around escorting others Lord I've been in Koinonia for a long time show me the mountain God's kingdom advancement is all about preaching and being a pastor but now I know that there are financial apostles now I know there are education apostles now I know there are media apostles now I know there are family apostles please prophesy pray grant me grace pray now grant me grace grant me grace I will take that mountain for you Lord take me there 
and I will subdue for you. Take me to the media. I will become the best of quality media and I will do it for you in excellence. Take me to the business world. I will conquer it for you. I will conquer it for you and supply finances for kingdom activities. Make me a pastor. Make me an apostle. Make me a prophet. And I will cause havoc in the kingdom of darkness. I will correct the errors of the Father. I will set once again the altar of our God. Pray for your destiny. Your life depends on it. Your relevance in the kingdom depends on the role you play. Hallelujah. Listen, when you find your place, you will never be idle one more day in your life. You will never hate yourself again. All this comparison, all this inferiority, low self-esteem, it dies at once because you know that there is a mountain with your name on it and you will focus on it. Are you getting me? There are some of you, you are sent to the education realm all you have is a bsc that's not enough to take the mountain go for your masters if it takes getting another degree again go for it if it takes being a professor go for it so that it will give you influence everybody say influence you need influence to legislate on the kingdom don't let anybody say you are 30 years old who say you cannot school as 30. go and do your masters Get the best of the best of the best results. And then soar with wings as an eagle. You believe God is calling you into the business world. Business is not all about money. Sustain a level of intelligence that when you speak with your contemporaries, they will know that the spirit of God is at work in your life. Stretch yourself beyond limit. Challenge yourself to be the best. Knowing that this is a symbol of your dedication to the king and his kingdom are you following me now if you're a conference speaker challenge yourself tell yourself you will be the best not just some local champion educate yourself pay the price if god is calling you into the fivefold ministry labor in the world labor in prayer to be an extraordinary man of God that when you enter a place for a meeting rattle the gates of hell don't just go and come out of a city and nobody knows they call the apostles the men that turn the world upside down hallelujah God is calling you to be a healing evangelist be an extraordinary one not a healing evangelist that keeps getting angry at other people because you will not rise up challenge yourself this is a wake-up call for many of us we are the ecclesia god is depending on us so on sunday when you go to church don't just go to church with ritual as usual when you come for koinonia don't just come as usual know that you are not just coming to satisfy the ordinances of a religious movement no koinonia is a platform and attempts to respond to the cry of the spirit that there needs to be a people and if you are not properly trained you will fail when you get there hallelujah father Lift your hands, everybody. Let's make a commitment to God. Right now that the millions have not entered your hand. Right now that you have not become a celebrity in the media. Right now that your album is not the best-selling Christian album in Nigeria yet. Make a commitment. And say, Lord, I declare my allegiance for you. Go ahead, talk to God. I lift my hands as a symbol. I will not fail you. Now I know you are depending on me. 
millions of dollars will not take away my allegiance for you i may be a politician but i know where i'm coming from i may be a banker i may be a ceo of the biggest bank in west africa i may speak among unbelievers but i know whose i am i'm not confused i may be a multi-billion dollar businessman traveling around and speaking with presidents but i'm not ashamed of the gospel pray i may be the greatest music artist in the next two years in nigeria give me the song so god and all the shows will not take your place in my life pray make me that professor make me that vice chancellor i want my paper so god to be of international repute take me there and watch what i will do for the kingdom make your commitment you will remember this commitment in the days to come make a true commitment unto god hallelujah 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 listen god is counting on you never forget that never forget that you are part of the people that have come together to lift up his name if you fail the apostolic ministry alone will not bring christ back businessmen if you don't rise up and start supplying sup supplies to the kingdom a day will come witchcraft will be on our pulpit because men are broke you don't expect the pastor to stop preaching and go around are you getting my point and start begging for money it will make him teach error are you getting my point media people if you do not act the clean films if you do not come up with movies that can minister to all and sundry god is counting on us this is what informs my urgency that's why you see me on business mode every time listen if you get this revelation nobody will come to distract you with immorality or this there is a sense of urgency you have given yourself a limit in five years time i want to become a professor because there is a mountain god wants that's your target and you are taking it other people say are you not resting why are you behaving like the world will end there is an urgency from tonight every time you sleep hear it in your ears ecclesia i'm counting on you ecclesia where the grace of god comes upon your life divine acceleration triumph triumph shaka pataya triumph by the spirit there are ministries that need quantum leaps if all you do is to invite members through posters let me tell you the truth get set for empty pews please help those under the anointing are you hearing what i'm saying if all you want to do in life is to move like men men i'm ready more than ever let me tell you it's like a flight i've been having an interesting experience with the holy spirit in the last two three weeks my goodness is is a is is a preparation for a quantum leap this man you see has gone no I'm, I'm i'm only saying you better believe god and arise don't let anybody tell you don't listen to him run away from them they won't help you when you are in trouble you'll be surprised to see how the vicissitudes of life will distract you all these problems we are solving is to give us space to pursue our assignment not to build a house for building sake not to buy a car for buying a car sake not to eat well for whatever it is so that if you decide to lock yourself in your house to worship god for 24 hours nobody will call you and say why are you worshiping god you can't be in church and someone calls you and says you better come and on the machine on which machine 
You move mountains. You cause walls to fall. And with your power, you perform miracles. There is nothing that's impossible. And we're standing here only because for you move mountains, you cause walls to fall, and with your power, you perform miracles. There is nothing that's impossible, and we're standing here only because you can. Listen, brothers, let me talk to you. Do you know right now? please come when you see a gentleman like this do you know if this gentleman is successful many elders will ask him what are you doing in other words how come your life is this fast society has made people's growth rate so slow if you buy a car at 45 they say wow wonderful you are responsible but you buy a car at 22 and see people say you're a witch if they see a young man succeed you see everybody saying uh -uh, at this life Two plus two, it doesn't add up. God wants to accelerate the kingdom. The coming of Jesus is near. There is a lot we must do for the kingdom. Listen, you can't spend your life looking for money. It's a cost. It's a cost. It's a cost to spend your life looking for what to eat and what to drink. You will never serve God that way. Pray eight hours. When you are hungry, you are joking. You may endure. But your children will not endure. Listen, hold on. Please, I want you to pay attention to what I'm telling you. You see me preaching from my heart. Otherwise, we'll keep playing games. And at the end, many Christians will backslide, Pastor Jakes. They will leave God. How many believers do you know? Who are not standing again because the reality of life we said this thing many years people insulted us and said we're noise makers those people today some of them are not born again they are not even in christ again they've gotten into all kinds of things survival is a cause you should resolve that issue and spend your life serving god if you are a brother here when i say pray please pray pray the sisters can join but brothers you must pray you shouldn't stand and just be leave any man of god thing and cry listen there are some of you as you are listening to me right now there are seven siblings or six who are waiting for you to take care of them you have your own mother you have your own father and I, how are you going to live that's the cause of depression and then god calls you into ministry no job you want to marry you want to move forward you, you must be a joker you must access another mystery brothers and sisters you must trust god for a quantum leap tonight there is a grace there is a grace the name is a grace there is an unction that helps men and expedites their process in life the climate is too harsh for an average young man the probability for establishment is is almost like passing through the eye of a needle the factors are too many and we're standing here only because and we're standing here only because you made a way made a way when our backs were against the wall and it looked the if it was over you made a way hallelujah there are people here listen home and abroad their entire families are earning 200,000 but every week they are doing physiotherapy and chemotherapy for someone I heard of a woman 70,000 naira every week God is my witness they spend on 
is it physiotherapy or chemotherapy or something like that and there is no guarantee the person you see how the devil works until all your money finishes then the person will now die peacefully and leave you with trouble how many of you right now nobody to help you in your life lift your voice in one minute and cry cry for the help of god Koinonia, pray, pray. Shabakato sebara walaraba. Zakata baroko to sepreketi. Shekete bereko sopra na walaraba na walaraba. Don't know how, but you did it. Lord, I cry. Hear me, O oh God. My life must make progress. My life must make progress. Outside, are you praying? My life must make progress. My life must make progress. hallelujah 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 prayer point number two listen listen i want us to break out of cycles tonight are we together i'm going to minister to you but there are people here you are seeing the patterns of your families reproducing themselves in your life nobody rises beyond the level go to school or not it's a pattern you must break don't watch it happen and say it's all right nothing solves itself by itself you must engage it with faith lord this poverty thing i've seen it in my family we are not lazy people but i'm seeing it come this lack of being serious with god lift your voice and break every cycle lift your voice and command accept yourself accept yourself Accept yourself. Are you praying? Hallelujah. Listen. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen to me. Listen. Listen. There are people you see who never last in marriage three years no matter what happens maximum three years one nonsense must happen and scatter the marriage are we together there are some of you listen the mysteries that destroy your family is men keep cheating you whether in business whether anytime there is wickedness you are the only one it happens to it's not a coincidence when they want to scam someone you are the first they find when accident is about to happen is when you are crossing the road the car will hit your leg i'd like you to pray and say no more i insist i've been keeping quiet about this but tonight i place a demand lift your voice no more no more no more it shall come to pass in that day that the burden from, shall be taken from off your shoulder the yoke from off your neck and it shall be destroyed because of the anointing hallelujah hallelujah 
two more prayer points before I begin to minister to us. Listen. Hallelujah. Jesus said, Satan cometh to me and does not find anything of himself. If Satan finds what belongs to him in you, he's authorized to destroy you. We are going to pray and we are going to say, Lord, whatever legal access the devil has over my life and destiny, I apply the blood. I invoke the mystery of the blood. Lift your voice and pray. Legal access. I apply the blood. Are you praying? I apply the blood that speaketh better things than the blood of Abel. I apply the blood. I apply the blood. I apply the blood. I apply the blood on my children. I apply the blood. Pray on my husband, on my wife, on my business, on my ministry, on my job. I apply the blood. No divination, no witchcraft, no enchantment arising against my life shall prevail. standing keep standing everyone we are going to pray now i tell you i'm angry in my spirit luke 18 verse 1 please quickly luke 18 verse 1 and he spake a parable luke 18 verse 1 and he spake a parable unto them to this end that men ought always to pray and not to faint verse 2 there's something I'm looking for. Saying, there was in a city a judge which feared not God, neither regarded man. Verse 3. And there was a widow in that city. And she came to him saying, avenge me of my adversary. Stop there. God is a God of vengeance. Listen, listen. I know that's the nasty side of God. But the God I serve is not only merciful. God, there are people who don't need mercy they need vengeance you don't pray if you don't believe it but let me tell you something there is a god of vengeance he said let god arise and let all his enemies be scattered lift your voice and cry lord avenge i cry for your vengeance over the works of darkness in my life my family Koinonia pray. Arise, Sokoto Pakaya. Righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne. Oh God of vengeance, arise. Oh God of vengeance, arise against the wicked. Oh God of vengeance, arise. Oh God of vengeance. Arise against evil doers. Arise against them that seek to feed on the flesh of your people. Hallelujah. Listen. There was a man in the book of Esther called Haman. Have you heard about Haman? That man was conspiring to destroy the agenda of God. Not just the Jews. The agenda of God. The apple of his eyes. And then the Bible says through a lot of activities. When that plot was gotten, the king sent. And he said they should go and hang him. He already built a gallow in advance in advance we live in a wicked world brothers and sisters let me tell you it's not all about vengeance but there is a dimension of it that is necessary if you must break through the wickedness of men is beyond imagination you are going to pray it again lord there are powers that have tied down my life and my family arise oh god of vengeance arise oh god of vengeance arise oh god of vengeance
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. I was told the story of a woman, Pastor Jakes. Married a man that God had blessed. And then the man died. As soon as the man died, strangers came from left, right and center. And told her, you have no inheritance in this. They stripped that woman to the last of everything. Banished her and her children to go. Men, they will smile at you and talk against you in the secret. And hope for tragedy to come upon your life. So that they will rejoice in your pain. No, you rejoice in my pain. The God of vengeance will arise for you. I tell you. Only a wicked man will see someone in pain and rejoice over it. He said, rejoice not over me, my enemies. Though I fall, yet I will rise again. How many of our parents were betrayed by their best friends? They lost their job because of someone they knew was the person who signed the check. Sign them off. Say, destroy them. The Bible says, a man's enemies. Listen. 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 Koinonia, I know many of us are young people, but let me tell you, when you become a leader or when you become one who is in any position of responsibility, you will appreciate this prayer. There are men who will kill you and bury you smiling. They will kill you and bury you smiling. When Judas came to kiss Jesus, a kiss is a sign of love, correct? Yet a man used that sign of love as a symbol to an enemy. This is the guy. This is how you will kill him. How many people kissed you into your suffering today? They kissed you with a stupid advice. And that's, that's what has landed your life today. They told you stop tithing. These men of God are crooks. They have destroyed your life. Are we together? Tonight, I want us to engage the word. To engage the word with your spirit. If you insist, brothers and sisters, God will give you a breakthrough. If you insist, God will give you a breakthrough. Are we together now? I want you to pray one last prayer. And then I'll begin to minister by the spirit. Lord, visit the root cause of my challenges. I may not know what it is. I only know the effect. Oh God, go to the root. It says every tree, the axe is placed at the root. Every tree my father has not planted. Lord, go to the root cause of the barrenness in my life. The root cause as to why finances cannot stay in my hands the root cause are you praying shabakata labosu rekete koto shobre yeri balala 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 hallelujah hallelujah listen if after tonight's meeting you return with a testimony nobody will ask you to run to the house of God you will go by yourself do you know how many why many people never see God the truth is they are tired of lack of results they are tired of it jumping around doing all kinds of things yes you don't love God just for results but you've heard me say it again at a point in your Christian experience results must come as consolations to your serving God visit us tonight in the mighty name of Jesus visit us tonight in the mighty name of Jesus visit us tonight in the mighty name of Jesus visit us tonight let me make an altar call let's start with the altar call first so that we'll finish right now please everyone standing no moving around outside your attention there are people right here everything we boast of 
is in Christ. If you are not in Christ, there is no guarantee. Please listen very carefully. If you are not in Christ, there is no guarantee whatsoever. Are we together now? So you are here. We are talking about witchcraft. You have joined us to pray congratulations. But nothing will happen to you until there is a translation. Because when a man is not in Christ, the Bible says he is in the kingdom of darkness. The very domain of darkness. Are we together now? So when that prayer of salvation is offered in faith, there is a spiritual transfer. It is only on that basis you can challenge darkness. There are two categories of people very quickly. I'm going to make the altar call quickly. When you come, Pastor Jakes will lead you in prayer. And then we'll take over and fly tonight. And trust God to take us to a realm where we will never return. Never return to this level. In the name of Jesus. You are here and you are saying, man of God, it's as if you are just prophesying to me. You are right. It's you I'm speaking to. And I'm going to make an altar call. One, maybe two, three minutes wherever you are outside i know there are lots of people you are saying man of god can god forgive me yes he can can god give me a new beginning absolutely no one has made it in my family you will be the first if and only you receive him he says as many as believed in him even to them that i mean as many as received him even to them that believed in him he gave them power to become power to become you do not have the power but you have the will and you can choose right now i'm going to make an altar call whether you are giving your heart to jesus for the first time or you want to rededicate your life man of god i gave my life to christ but somehow things have gone haywire no problem you are welcome if you are outside run like there's fire on the mountain any of the overflows you are inside here you run out i will count one to five very quickly one run like there's fire on the mountain if you are thinking about it go back to your seat Give Jesus praise. Please clear the way for them. There are people running outside. Let Jesus Christ step into your destiny. Koinonia, can you motivate them? Appreciate them as they come. Don't let any friend tell you why you're disgracing yourself. Shame the devil over your life tonight. God bless you. Keep coming. Man of God, you don't know what I've done. Just make that step of faith and come quickly run to Jesus run to Jesus keep coming keep coming there are still more people there are still more people if you came with a friend and he's trying to stop you leave him alone and come run to Jesus Every one of us in front, can you just lift up your hands? Lifting up your hands is a sign of surrender. Are you following? Please just lift up your hands and pray this prayer sincerely from your heart. Jesus loves you. I want you to understand that. Just say, Dear Lord Jesus. Say it out loud. I want to hear you speak. Say, Dear Lord Jesus. I come before you. I ask for forgiveness for my sins. I believe in the power of your blood. I believe in the power of your salvation. Forgive me of for all my sins. Thank you for new life. Thank you for newness in Christ Jesus. From today, I'm a child of God. I'm born again. My spirit is new. My heart is new before God. In the name of Jesus. Still lift up your hands while I quickly pray for you. Father, thank you for these precious ones. Thank you for the power of your blood. My Father, I ask even as their hands are lifted up, let your love, Lord, descend upon them. I ask that, Lord, the love of God will permit, the love of Christ will be shed abroad in their hearts by the Holy Ghost. Thank you for their lives, God. Thank you for writing their names in the Lamb's book of life. We give you praise. Thank you for the Holy Spirit that indwells them now. Thank you for the Holy Spirit helping them to walk in your ways, Lord. We give you praise. We give you glory. Thank you for your glory upon them, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Hallelujah. Please just look at me. 
just moment you turn just in between the aisle just you'll see somebody waving behind you please just follow him we'd like to get your name okay your name and some of your contact to get to pray with you hallelujah god bless you precious saints can we celebrate jesus for this can we put our hands together and celebrate jesus celebrate them congratulations congratulations god bless you please let's attend to them quickly so that they can come we're about to pray now hallelujah we're about to pray before we pray let me talk to two people there's one inside one outside that god is visiting their family there's a mighty anointing that will come on them one sister a sister also someone inside and someone in the overflow outside the power of god is going to come on that person now god is bringing his strange deliverance i'm seeing a strange deliverance bring the person one inside one outside i just want to speak to them please quickly we have a lot to do tonight and we want to conserve time Lift your hands. I want to pray. Just bring the people. Father, end witchcraft now in her life. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare that the reign of darkness is over. Bring this lady for me. Free now by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. Free. I'm going to pray for you. There will be a mighty deliverance right now. Listen, what is deliverance? Deliverance is not crying and rolling on the floor. Deliverance is by the power of God separating you from the spirits and the influences that are responsible for the challenges in your life. I'm going to pray for you. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. I'm already seeing in the spirit. Mighty. Especially today, God is visiting visitors. If you are here for the first time, God is visiting Visit us in a very strange way. Lift your hands. Don't say anything. Just lift your hands. Just keep your hands lifted. Please bring them. Just keep your hands lifted. Keep your hands lifted. God is touching people. It's a foolish instruction, but it's what the Lord is telling me. Just keep your hands lifted. Like fire. It's coming on people inside and outside. Bring them out. God is visiting visitors. 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 Doesn't mean other people are not being touched. But particularly visitors. Father, spare not your hand. Spare not your hand. Spare not your hand. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let me pray now. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm praying. There are men and women here right now under strange influences that has tied their lives, their destinies, in the name that is above all names whoever under the sound of my voice inside and outside if there is any spirit motivating the tragedies in your life as we shout that name jesus there will be an eruption of fire in this place and all of a sudden god will begin ministering to people 
Are you ready now? At the count of three. One, two, three. They must go from their hiding place. They must depart from their hiding place. They must depart from their hiding place. At the sound of his voice, I command every spirit. I command every devil. Strange spirits tying down the destinies of men. I command you right now. There is mighty deliverance happening in the overflows outside. Mighty deliverance happening in the overflows outside. The power of witchcraft being broken. Being broken. Being broken. God is addressing issues of oppression. Oppression. Shakataya. It must end now. It must come to an end now. It must come to an end now. Lift your hands. Hallelujah. I'm seeing a handwriting and I'm seeing setback and then slash delay. That's what God wants to deal with right now. God wants to deal with it. You don't need to know whether you belong to the category. The fire of God will locate you right now. Father, I pray by the power of the Holy Ghost, anyone under the sound of my voice, shakata bakata, under the yoke of setbacks, whether you are a visitor, whether you've been here for a long time, in the name of Jesus, I command that spirit to leave you now. I command that spirit to leave you now. The power of God is touching people. Delay, 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 delay. You are a strange spirit. I curse you by the God of heaven. Delaying destiny, delaying achievement. that spirit I cost that spirit I cost that spirit bring the mommy out there's a mighty deliverance happening to her delay over your family broken 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 by the spirit Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is giving me a strange instruction. Please, sisters, lay your hands on your womb. Lay your hands on your stomach. Something remarkable is going to happen here right now. There is a kind of deliverance God is doing. I don't know what I'm even doing. But Lord, I pray right now. This is not for everybody. But I am seeing the Lord is instructing that they lay their hands. And I'm going to pray a prayer for you. You'll be surprised. Every stranger hiding in any sister's body that is responsible for the manipulation of their destinies in the name of Jesus by this prophetic instruction at the count of three release them now. One, two, three. Release them now. 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 Release their destinies. Release their destinies. Hallelujah. 
Johnson Johnson I'm hearing a name Johnson 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 we are still praying please Johnson my God I tell you I see this fire falling on sisters I don't know what it is with ladies God is God is ministering a serious deliverance to ladies serious deliverance to ladies hallelujah hallelujah you are here in this place listen you never rise beyond a certain level it's not that you don't start please listen carefully i'm speaking by the spirit the moment is like there is a spiritual embargo you get to that height you must crash down wherever you are i'm prophesying now and i'm praying for you the power of god is looking for those people the power of god is looking for those people you rise to a level and fall you rise to a level and fall lord in the name of jesus inside and outside wherever you are i release that fire like a messenger to your life like a messenger to your life i cause that witchcraft now i cause that witchcraft now hallelujah the lord is showing me a vision my god hold on i'm seeing deliverance for children like little children the power of god is coming on small children in this place i'm seeing children being delivered some initiated into occultism some initiated into this let's just walk the way god is father in the name of jesus i speak to every little child in this place who is a victim of any satanic manipulation wherever they are don't be surprised if you see little children manifesting now wherever they are inside and outside i'm prophesying that the spirits symbols just the symbols please. right now wherever the children are i'm prophesying that the power of god will touch them touch them i set them free from activities of witchcraft occultism any kind of initiation if there is any little child here under any yoke of bondage i set them free now i set them free now hallelujah hallelujah my friend lift your hands that gentleman going tap him Hi. there is hardship in your family and the lord is asking me to cause it right now in the name of jesus i cause hardship let the anointing of the spirit come on you now i cause that spirit the spirit of hardship i cause you now i cause you now i cause you now in the name of jesus christ hallelujah listen if you are here and you have any blood disease just blood disease any kind any kind blood related issue lay your hand on your chest i want to pray for you right now blood related issue genotype whatever it is um, or any kind of thing maybe any sickness that is blood related please i want to pray for you right now the lord is giving me that instruction very quickly I want to pray for you. I'm seeing a lady who is AS. God is about to change her genotype now. 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 A dramatic change of genotype from AS to SS. From AS to AA by the spirit by the spirit by the spirit hallelujah hallelujah 
please if you come from a family where no one in your family is working lift your hands nobody no job nobody just please just do what i'm asking you to do let's save time just lift your hands nobody at all is working no matter what happens just lift your hands i want to pray for you lift your hands i want to pray for you jesus 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 i'm i'm looking at hands lifted and and for some of the hands i'm seeing like a rope this is not necessarily you this is a representation of your family and i want to pray for you in the name of jesus i stretch my hands get ready for the power of god right now wherever you are even those who didn't lift their hands i decree and declare that that yoke of joblessness comes under attack right now right now right now right now right now i release them i release them i release their jobs i release their jobs by the power of the holy ghost 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 we end joblessness here right now right now in the name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah the spirit of revelation is coming on 17 people one seven one seven one seven at the count of four this is the instruction god gives me unusual access to illumination lord where are they inside and outside one ta -ba -ta 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 -ta. two three strange illumination four take it now take it now the spirit of revelation on common access to the secrets of the kingdom on common access 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 i release it in the spirit access 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 hallelujah please make sure you receive every word that is coming every word come god is going to use you come come and stand here lift your hands stand up in the name of jesus i don't know you huh but an anointing will come upon your life today and god is going to change your life like day and night receive that grace right now strange grace step into that dimension that dimension there are impartations going on now let's just receive the impartations impartations not healings not healings impartations impartations i release the gifts of the spirit right now right now i release the gifts of the spirit lord stir up the fountain stir up the waters stir up the waters i release the gifts of the spirit strange gifts strange gifts strange manifestations of power of power healing anointings healing anointings i activate healing anointings right now healing anointings step into it step into it outside inside step into it god is releasing mantles mantles of healing ancient mantles of healing ancient mantles grace for barrenness grace for barrenness grace for barrenness healing barren cases hallelujah hold on i'm still praying i'm still praying god wants to release the healing anointing let's just stay here with this healing thing god wants to release there are many more people i'm not seeing them receive it yet father you want to release this grace there is such a grace as a healing anointing i pray for you right now in the name of jesus i stretch my hands inside and outside like a tornado may the power of god come on you now everyone everyone everywhere men women take it take it take it fire 
upon your spirit. Hello, him, Adonai, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Hello, him, Adonai, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Hello, him, Adonai. I don't know how we are going to manage this now. Ushers, there is a prophecy for you. The Lord says I should tell you from now, as you hold people and as you shake them, there will be a transference on every one usher. I'm prophesying now. That's why I say I don't know what we'll do. Ushers, ushers, receive that mantle. Receive that mantle. A strange healing grace coming on our ushers. Supernatural supernatural the unction take it take it where you are let that fire come upon you upon ushers in a strange way upon ushers in a strange way the grace for the miraculous no longer will you just hold people no longer will you just welcome people as you clean the seats you release strange mantles. Hallelujah. We'll soon pray for the sick. But please everyone lift your hands. Lift your hands. I want to pray. I'm seeing people here. The anointing for business and entrepreneurship. Just keep your hands. That's why, please keep your hands. I want to pray for you. Don't say I'm not called into a businessman. That's none of your business. Just listen to what I'm saying. I want to pray for you. It's a grace. It's a grace. I believe maybe in the course of the service, we'll call a Jimmy here to just prophesy that grace and release it truly, truly upon your life. Lift your hands. Brothers and sisters, there is a grace for the marketplace. You don't go there through desire. It's not that you are a, mon a money monger, you just go, but strange ideas strange insight do you know i'm seeing a number four and one 41 this will affect many people inside and outside whether you're a businessman or not it's not what i'm asking you that grace will locate you where you are a grace for the marketplace lord in the name of jesus inside and outside all the overflows online anyone here who must step into that grace whether you know anything about the marketplace or not take that grace now take that grace now i release it supernatural access 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 to business strategies access to ideas take it right now Receive it, receive it. It's coming on people. Receive it, receive it. Receive it, it's coming on you. So that you will go and prosper. 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 There is a woman, one of our mothers, this grace that I'm talking about is coming on you now. Now. One of our mothers, one of our mothers is receiving that grace. God is releasing that grace. Whether you are inside or outside, whoever it is, I release that grace now. There is a woman I'm seeing in the spirit. You must take that grace now. You must take that grace now. Uncommon ability. Uncommon ability. Uncommon insight. For the works of your hands to begin to produce fruit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Look at me. Please help them. Shalakosiataban.
how many of you are trusting God to restore something that has left your life it can be anything how many of you are trusting God I want to release that grace now and I want you to believe it some of you had destiny help us but something happened and they left your life some of you had quality relationships but it left your life some of you had finances but it left your life some of you even had certain levels of graces the lord is asking me to prophesy restoration Kai, this is going to land on people's head i'm seeing this thing there are physical gifts you used to see in your life not gifts of the spirit not just gifts of the spirit gifts gifts endowments for some reason it disappeared some of you are actually worshippers singers but that grace left is coming back is coming back i invoke the grace that he has put upon my life i prophesy strange restoration i call it by name and i command it back to your life i call it by name everything you once were that you now are not i command you to become it now i command you to become it now i release that grace i release that grace receive it i release that grace i release that grace hallelujah now listen listen there are some of us hear me you have been doing certain things but the anointing for what you are doing has not yet come on your life this is a very serious prayer i want to pray for you you have been doing business with the brain of a money monger but not the grace for the marketplace you have been singing only with the voice of a musician but not the spirit of david i want to release the anointing of your office the anointing that has to do with your function please i want you to believe what i'm praying hear me hear me hear me it's one thing david was anointed to step into his office are you anointed for what you are doing i know you are working you want promotion is there an unction you are working with or are you just working with certificate at the count of three i want you to shout jesus there will be distribution of graces it's like an alignment the anointing the oil of your call the oil of what you are doing is about to locate you father in the name of jesus i pray right now whoever is functioning without an anointing functioning without the oil i stand upon this ground and i prophesy at the count of three may the grace that will distinguish you come upon you get ready now one one two two three receive that grace now take it take it grace grace for your academics grace for the ministry grace Help me. The chains are gone. God help me back. Hey, hey, oh, this is Yanu. Oh, this Yanu. You're the God of awesome wonder. Your power, say you have shown me so much mercy, much more than I deserve. Hallelujah! 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 Please, I'm seeing something happening here right now. There are people who are receiving grace for speed and they will start running physically. Hold them. 
hold them so they don't injure people i release the grace you won't control yourself physically running speed physically i release that grace now receive grace for speed receive grace for speed right now right now i command you to run run in the spirit catch up catch up catch up by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus i release speed i release speed i release speed speed to your life speed to your destiny speed to your life speed to your destiny speed to your life speed to your destiny Words you speak, the things around your arms rest. Run like Elijah. Run like Elijah. You took away the chains and that held me back. Held me back. Hey, holy. Mercy. Much more than I desire. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are going to pray for the sick now. Listen. Please. Three things. Let me just give three instructions. Hold on please everyone. The worship team will continue right now. Now we are going to be very fast about this number one. Number two. Please. If you have not written your prayer request or the ones of your loved ones please i permit you put on your phone and call them tell them to send it as a text message write it we are going to be praying here tonight and we're going to be asking the fire of god to fall on request don't assume if you have not written it no problem settle down think well and write you are here you are trusting god for healing i understand there are a few sick people that they brought around please we're going to do it this way if your case is very sensitive then you can bring them to the front here but those outside please just walk to the um well there are a lot more people outside really well for those who can come in let's see but for those who may not make it you can walk to the front and then down there i'm here pastor jakes is here um we'll just station ourselves one one and then the other people will just support so that we can do it very fast praise god thank god pastor jakes is here and jimmy is here hallelujah praise god hold on so outside you can just walk at your various projector stands and stand there for those who have come in just allow them don't stop them let them come in that does not mean everybody will stream in please are we together if you're standing just stand trust god if they don't ask you what is wrong with you don't worry they just lay hands on you praise the lord hey, Jimmy, please you help us hey, Jimmy will be outside here and pastor jakes will be down outside there praise the lord benga you go with pastor jakes you will help pastor jakes outside um pastor alpha you'll be outside just help them and then um who is around again is femi around okay so you can just come and help me here so let's do it that way very fast very very fast if there are more people there see promise is here michael is here so maybe you can add one okay promise just follow promise follow pastor jakes michael follow hey, Jimmy. please let's do it very very fast while hold on please don't be distracted don't cut the flow we are going to be very fast at this and we'll pray and then i'll speak over your life many miracles are happening even whilst you are seated don't be distracted. I expect you to be writing your request and be praying in the spirit. Hallelujah. For those stationed at different points, whether at the back, any of the overflows, I'd like you to believe God for a miracle right now. Believe God for a miracle. You can see someone like our daddy. He has come with his crutch, believing God to walk. You believe you walk, sir? 
you believe the Lord will heal you. So get ready to walk. You see, there are people stationed around. We are going to pray. This will be very, very fast. And then the Lord will help us. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Father, thank you. Let me start with our daddy first. How long have you been like this, sir? Six months. Stroke? Who brought him? Who came with our daddy? You came by yourself, sir? came by myself. By yourself? From where, sir? Station here. You cannot walk. I can move with you. This one can stick. Which but of the legs has a problem? This is the leg. This is stroke. Yes. Can you lift it? No, I can't. I can't. The hand, I can't lift Hold it. on. Look at this. Sir, look at me. You believe in Jesus? I believe. You believe in the power of I Jesus? Believe. Lord, I introduce your kingdom to this man's life right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Huh? The Lord will begin to touch you. Your hands, everything is already dead. Sir, lift your leg. Lift your leg. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Lift your leg. Lift it. Lift your leg. Lift your leg. Start. Try to walk gently. Come. Come. Try to walk gently. Come. Give me the stick. Look at me. Look at your stick. Come. Come. Don't be afraid, come. Lift your leg. Look at this. Look at what is happening to this man. Came with this stick. Look at this. 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 Find a chair and just keep him, let him sit down while the power of God touches him. Sir, you came here by yourself. Um, trust him. Okay, and the boy has gone. Okay, he's somewhere. In the name of Jesus Christ, the God you believe has begun this miracle. You will perfect it. Look for a stick for him there. Hold your stick by yourself and go. Don't put it on the ground. Hold it up. Walk by yourself and go. Give Jesus praise. Look at what God is Heal now in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is destroying witchcraft in your life in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Someone is still sick here. Someone is still sick here. I'm feeling the healing anointing pulling out from me. Someone is still sick here. No, 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 no. I'll pray for you. But I'm saying, I feel it within this vicinity from ministers roll down, choir. Someone is sick. Come, let me pray for you. You came out. Lift your hands. Jesus. Someone is still sick here. Someone has to be healed here now. Someone is sick here. I know when the anointing has released me to do something else. I still feel that someone is sick. Someone is sick. Someone is still sick. Lord, let that person be healed. This is a miracle service. This is a miracle service. This is a miracle service. Just this vicinity. I sense it's like, you know how someone is pulling your cloth? Jesus said, virtue has gone out of me. That's what I'm still feeling. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There's a gentleman here. Your elder brother has a case. I may not be able to mention the case. This is a health-related case. But this is a challenge with married people. This has affected, it's one of the worst 
things that can happen to a man in marriage and the Lord is bringing a miracle right now right now elder brother supernatural miracle is coming to that person by the power of the Holy Spirit you are holding her but something is leaving her to you now you who is holding her something is leaving her to you there is there is virtue I see a transference of grace from a Jimmy's wife to you you are doing your work as an usher but you have received something very strange and very powerful you see let me tell you something if if you do not you see hold on walking in the anointing is more than having it having the anointing is very different from being able to navigate the pathways of the anointing if not you will be anointed but you will not be able to dispense it fruitfully because you are just guessing it's like a man shooting anyhow you must have discernment many people think all it takes once you can speak and someone falls they say i am anointed what do you know about the anointing the anointing is more than releasing something mysterious to somebody it must accomplish something this you need more discernment than even the anointing the substance the ability to look at for instance like these people who have been touched now you are an anointed man of god you are finished praying you go to the next thing you see insensitivity in the spirit this is not guesswork if you are guessing you will not see the results like this it's not it's not guessing so please learn it i know that this is a place where we value the anointing and there are many of you you are waiting for me to prophesy release impartation after this now it's not it's not just about holding people ah hold this lady hold Mukhtar's wife an anointing is coming on her please hold her her and matter two of them there is i don't know what it is but i'm seeing i don't know why god is doing this thing it's a strange God, God is giving two of them strange favor strange favor I see strange favor strange favor America God is giving you access I'm seeing you like a crown coming on your head and God is saying he's giving you strange access strange access strange access strange access strange access Muas, God is giving strange favor. Strange favor. Strange favor. Hallelujah. I don't know what I'm saying, but this is a word for someone. And the Lord is saying, why make it next year when I have destined it to be this year? Why make it next year? When I have destined it to be this year, this is the word of the Lord. Why make it next year? This is a word for many people. When I've destined it to be this year, as I speak to you, the word is for you. The power of God will locate you. Why make it next year? When I have destined it to be this year, it's the year of triumph. It's the year of triumph. Why make it next year? Just allow me to do my stupidity. Why make it next year? When I have destined it to be this year why make it next year when i have destined it to be this year my god hallelujah there is a lady here you have been disappointed with god right now you actually came help the ushers you came expecting that I would directly call your case and you, you, you pray this thing but now it looks like we're about to pray and I didn't call your case the power of God is coming on you now now as a sign that God had you. now wherever you are he's locating you now now I command that spirit to leave you. I see you in the spirit. Go now. 
in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I stretch my hands now and I command by the power of the Holy Ghost let her go now peace to your spirit every devil carries his nonsense and lives with you right now in the name of Jesus Christ Hallelujah. Pastor Jake is still praying outside. Okay, we can just do it. This is a listen. There are two moments in every miracle service you should not miss. Ah, there is, I mean, God is just doing certain things. It's like something is really happening. Don't worry about what is happening. Impartations. God, see, let me tell you right now, if the anointing comes on you. Just know that is the answer to your prayer. This is not a special once the anointing comes on you. Just know that your prayer has been answered. You understand? This is what it doesn't mean if the anointing, if you don't fall down, it's not answered. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying this is how God is choosing to confirm to some people now, as I'm talking, that your prayer, no matter how difficult it is, no matter how difficult your prayer is. Praise the Lord. Now, everyone, please stretch your hands here and pray in the Holy Ghost. Please, Pastor Jakes, come. What do you mean? Please, okay, he's writing something. Just stretch your hands here and pray. And pray in the Holy Ghost. Stretch your hands and pray in the Holy Ghost from the depth of your heart. Stretch your hands. Shakatopakata. Leketeketekete. Stretch your hands here and pray in the Holy Ghost. No, leave her. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Stretch your hands. Pray in the Holy Ghost. 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 Prophesy in the Holy Ghost. Shake it to go to to get a rakata kata makata. So put to show peke te te te. Miracles, so God. Testimonies, so God. Signs and wonders. Signs and wonders, signs and wonders, signs and wonders. We prophesy it. We prophesy it. We prophesy it. We prophesy it. Visit impossible situations. I tell you, God is moving. I see a cloud. I see a cloud over this prayer request. That's what I see in the spirit. God is moving upon it. Moving upon it. Moving upon it. The Spirit of God is moving over the prayer request, visiting families, releasing angels, releasing angels, visiting the request. I'm seeing the cloud of God's presence, visiting the prayer request. Savior, He can move a mountain. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save forever. Author of salvation, He rose and conquered the grave. Jesus, sing it one more time for God. Mighty and everlasting Father, Master of the Universe, the God that answers by fire. We receive answers by fire in the name of Jesus. Angels of God, are you not ministering spirits sent forth to minister to the heirs of salvation? We receive angelic ministration and direct answers from heaven now in the name of Jesus. 
the heavens over these requests are open and answers come speedily in the name of Jesus it has been decreed it has been ratified and it is done in the name of Jesus Lord we say thank you Lord we say thank you we say thank you exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask above all that we imagine is done in the name of Jesus we give you praise father we thank you we thank you we thank you in Jesus name we have decreed Come on, give Jesus praise give Jesus mighty praise hallelujah please say to me still come pastor Jake's come I just feel like doing this is I, I don't always do this but I want to prophesy over your lives and in the name of Jesus they are my friends but the Lord is telling me to speak over their lives they are great men of God in power but in the name of Jesus the Lord is saying I should prophesy the next dimension to prophesy a new level and in the name of Jesus I speak it step into a new dimension a Jimmy God is saying I should release grace for access I command that grace strange access strange access by the power of the Holy Ghost strange access gifted men coming into your life connections with gifted men in the name of Jesus and pastor Jake's God is giving you influence strange influence strange influence strange influence strange influence is a very strange apostolic dimension of influence Lord I pray in the name of Jesus that you will bless them wherever your wives are I bring them into this experience now 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 wherever they are I prophesy to Tosin wherever she is and I speak to hope you are one so I prophesy as it happens to you I bring your wives into this experience in the name of Jesus strange levels of access strange levels of access strange levels of influence hallelujah hallelujah let me do this just once I spotted Lizzie somewhere one of the oldest year nine lady come she came in from Abuja part of the founding people that started this ministry all the way and the Lord is saying I should prophesy a release I told you about ladies who used to climb trees when this ministry started no money no nothing they were in welfare they were in worship team at the same time they would climb trees and pluck the firewood for cooking for us for the crusades and the Lord is saying I should pray and prophesy and open up a new dimension that it is for her does not mean you cannot receive it you see the thing with prophecy is the moment there is hunger it will still land on your head praise the Lord father in the name of Jesus I lay my hands right now over Lizzie and Lord Jesus I prophesy I prophesy according to the word that you are giving me I open up a new chapter a new chapter a new chapter Shabaka Toto Barekete Zat Kaskapas Katapas Katapas Legete to soto prendeke skobaria da balaraba. A new chapter. A new chapter. A new chapter. A new chapter. And as many who desire to drink of this grace, a new chapter. A new chapter. A new chapter. As many who desire to drink of this grace, a new chapter. In the name of Jesus. A new chapter. Listen. I prophesy to you a new chapter by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. We're rounding up. Who is this girl? Come. You. God has chosen to visit you. Come. Come and stand here. God is wiping your tears. This prayer I'm praying for you will open the tulip gates of your destiny. I lay my hands upon you and I command the gates to be opened now. 
I stood there and I saw you and the Lord said I should open that gate I lay my hands upon you I command the gates to be open be open right now be open right now in the name of Jesus Christ be open right now we're rounding up we're rounding up please this lady with a uh, yellow blue you come I don't know you but the Lord is asking me to pray for you lift your hands this is a real prayer to usher you into a strange realm of blessings I lay my hands and I remove the embargo from your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ I command ah, ah, I'm praying for you but I'm seeing my hand on you I'm praying for you but I'm seeing my hand on you Jesus, please visit them. Strange visitations. In the name of Jesus Christ. Strange visitations. Lift your hands, please. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah. I just saw a door open and I saw a name come out. Listen. I saw a name come out and I saw the Okalo family. The Okalo family. This is Okalo family. Okalo family. Okalo family. Okalo family. God is visiting your people. All three of you. Step into that grace. I open that door now. The Okalo family. Step into that grace. Open, 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 open. I open that door. An age long witchcraft broken over your family. An age long witchcraft broken over your family. An age long witchcraft broken over your family. I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus a dramatic restoration of everything that by the power of witchcraft has tied you down. Whatever has covered your glory, I speak it right now. In the name of Jesus, let it be open, open, open. I unveil your glory. I unveil your glory. I unveil your glory. Shaka ta ta ta. I unveil your glory. I unveil your glory. Tonight is a strange night. Please receive every prophetic word that I'm going to pray for you. Ah, just allow me to do one more thing. Ah, the Spirit of God, I have not seen this in a while. I'm now seeing the map of Nigeria and I see Benway State. The Spirit of God is going to Benway right now. Right now, touching people. You know how it happens when I speak. Benway, Benway, miracles. Locate them now, oh God. People from Benway. Benway, strange grace. Strange grace. I break witchcraft. Benway. I'm seeing Benway. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. I'm seeing, I know O to go, but I'm seeing the O, A. A at the, is there a place like that? Or to buy or something the power of god i'm seeing that going to that area the lord is bringing a miracle ends with an a whoever comes from that region in the name of jesus breakthrough 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 strange breakthrough strange breakthrough benway 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 i don't know why god is doing this but I'm prophesying it. May the angel of the Lord's presence step into that place. Hallelujah. I'm seeing another name on the map. Emo. 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 Where are they, oh God? Emo. 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 Emo state. Emo state. The anointing of the spirit locates them now. Strangely. Matato Sotota. Emo state. Miracles. Miracles, breakthroughs, signs, wonders, miracles, miracles to emo states, 
by the spirit of the living God hallelujah if you are from cross river cross river Calabar something is happening right now cross river cross river cross river cross river help her help her please hallelujah please lift your hands everyone it's the ministry of signs and wonders let me talk to you my dear this lady looking at me you come the lord has located you today come lift your hands the lord says i should tell you for shame he's bringing laughter to your life 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 lift your hands we're rounding up you've heard me say it again that this is the most powerful part of the service i want you to believe it hallelujah by the grace of god the anointing flows through me to you and i know when the anointing is heaviest it's only because many of us are already used to some of these things and so you think when these things are happening you don't judge the anointing just by physical manifestations i want to pray for you please receive everything i pray for you every age-long challenge every challenge that has refused to leave i prophesy upon it right now i command that it comes to an end in your life now 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 that fair lady come this lady time run come lift your hands i'm still praying in the name of jesus listen whatever has brought shame and dishonor like a stigma to your life i roll it away right now in the name of jesus i roll it away right now in the name of jesus i roll it away right now in the name of jesus i roll it away right now in the name of jesus my dear look at me I saw you inside a cave and I'm surprised because we've prayed for, for deliverance prayer and I saw you inside a cave you are just trying to push the door that's why I asked you to come out let me I don't know you do I know you where did you come from where where is that I don't know. Yes, I'm going to pray for you God is bringing a major breakthrough two things God is going to throw somebody out of your life I'm not a prophet of group but it will happen he will reach three days Huh? throw Amen. completely so that you can move forward Amen. i hold your hands in the name of jesus every deceiver of your destiny will drive them far from you right now in the name of jesus christ you need to love jesus with all your heart right you are a nice person but your relationship with jesus you can, you can get teachings after this but i want to prophesy on your life god is taking somebody not there though just driving somebody out an unwanted person out of your life i prophesy the kind of favor you have never seen i lay my hands on you and i provoke the heavens to release that favor for you in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare over every family represented here whether your nuclear family your extended family hold on i don't know what has gone wrong but in the name of jesus within now and miracle service match dramatic turn around for families dramatic turn around for families dramatic turn around for families in the name of jesus one of the mysteries responsible for open doors and new levels is the irrefutable ministry of destiny helpers i want to pray for you i don't know where they are but one thing i know is they never come on their own they are called by prophecy i prophesy to the north 
I prophesy to the south. I prophesy to the east. I prophesy to the west. The helper of your destiny. I command them to appear now. 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 Hallelujah. Come. Come and hold my hands. Congratulations. I'm seeing a job. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a very good job. And the Lord is saying I should congratulate you. Look at me. You will stand here and testify before the people of all the Holy Ghost said I should tell you is congratulations and I hold your hand in the name of Jesus Christ may it come to pass I decree and declare the results you have not had in 10 years put together in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God in one month 30 days I stand here under the unction of the Holy Ghost 30 days beginning from today step into those results step into those results ah, yeah, 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 yeah. step into those results step into those results strange dimensions of results hallelujah whoever has despised you whether to your knowing or not to your knowing i pray May God put them on the scene as he lifts you. May they watch your rising as God honors you. I pray for anyone here whose spiritual life has gone down. Prayer life down. Your praise and worship life down. Fasting down. Word life down. In the name of Jesus Christ, I activate fresh grace. Receive it fresh grace fresh fire outside receive it fresh grace fresh fire fresh grace hallelujah wherever your prosperity is i pray may listen listen hagar carried ishmael and they were roaming around the desert they said there was no water but when an angel appeared, all of a sudden they saw water. That you have not seen it does not mean it's, there, it's not there. I open your eyes to see where God has anointed to bring you financial blessings. I open your eyes in the name of Jesus. I open your eyes to see where God has placed your prosperity. Hallelujah. The plague of death that is looming around this nation looking for people and families is listen it's like a graph it rises then sometimes it relaxes i'm praying whoever calls your name i'm prophesying this oh whether in the secret or the open to invoke death upon your life i command the earth to open and swallow them I command the earth to open and swallow them. Whoever prophesies that it will not be well with you, may misery follow them. The Esther anointing, the unction and the grace, that granted Esther uncommon access in the presence of Ahasuerus. Shababa satalakata. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I release the Esther anointing upon your destiny right now. Take it. I release the Esther anointing upon your destiny. Hallelujah. Two more prayer points and we're done. Hallelujah. Listen, listen. Many of us do not understand the mystery of spiritual defense and protection. Listen, I want to pray something that is very powerful in your life. Listen, when you are in trouble and there is nobody to show up for you, it's a cause. 
are you hearing what i'm saying now the bible says defend you in the day of trouble there are many of us if for any reason things go wrong in your life you are in trouble there is nobody that can arise as a defense but i'm prophesying to you right now in the name of jesus christ whoever must arise and defend your cause in the presence of your helpers and in the presence of your persecutors i call them forth right now in the name of jesus may god raise men to be a wall of defense for you in this wicked um wicked state that we are living right now in this country people say if you don't have anybody and honestly speaking somebody can get up and come and seize your land you and your land and your paper they will collect it because there is no defense i'm prophesying again quarter to shame may god raise a defense for you and finally i want to pray the prayer of jabez for you many of us ha, many of us have not studied honor is not money listen listen there are many rich people with no honor are we together there are many well-to-do people with no honor do you know what honor is honor is when god anoints men to lavishly discern and celebrate what you represent without reservation so for every one person who talks nonsense there are thousands honor jabez said oh that the mother bore him in sorrow you brought shame for me so i call you jabez honor is more than money brothers and sisters the bible says a good name is better than riches i pray the mantle of honor that by the grace of god has rested upon this ministry in the name that is above all names for as many who have the grace and the discernment to receive take that mantle right now take that mantle right now they don't have to know you but strangers who come to feed your flock receive that grace for honor hallelujah wave your hands to jesus and praise him wave your hands to jesus and praise him. wave your hands to jesus and praise him wave your hands thank you jesus we bless you we lift our hands to the great I am. Oh. hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us. Thank you.